introduce yourselves for the people. What's up, guys? My name is Jacob, Jacob Landon. Um, from here in San Antonio, Texas, local fighter, local jiu-jitsu coach, and amateur beer drinker. <laughs> I bet you're not amateur at all. <laughs> yeah. How yeah, about you, Jamie? Jamie Smith, uh, also uh, Ohana Academy. Uh, I won't say I'm a fighter, but I get in the, the mat and I, I grapple. Uh, and lucky enough to have won uh, Master Worlds in 2019 at 57 years old. Uh, so I'm pretty blessed with that. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that's more than I've accomplished in my entire life. And you're 57 years old. That's 58 now. Oh, 58. Jesus Christ. I feel like a loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to get in the gym. But anyways, boys, y'all are back to talk, uh, listening to Talking Hands. We're live. We came on a little bit late for the last two fights, the only two fights that we thought mattered. Uh, in fact, for our Flip Our Cash segment, we ended up just saying, screw it. We're going to put every dime we have on Burgos. Yeah, we have uh, Rocky Pennington up next, but oh, yeah. then Shane Pennington Burgos is going to fight. So, yeah. Okay, so we got $650 on Shane Burgos to win 390 Yeah, so, so that, that's after this upcoming fight and then the main event, uh, Curtis Blades versus Volkov. We noticed, guys, that when we uh, are picking away fight by fight, we just, it's like you're eating so much juice, you're getting your ass whipped. So yeah. we decided just to pick, you know, a couple, one or two good fights that we believed in and just hammer nice. the shit out of it. Good call, good call. But uh, <laughs> so we wanted just to share a little bit. Y'all guys are from Ohana, a big uh, jiu-jitsu MMA gym here in San Antonio and all around Texas, right? Yeah, um, uh, San, Antonio. San Antonio. Just San Antonio? Yeah. Just San Antonio okay. right now, yeah. We, we do have uh, aspirations of, of going further. Uh, but what we've done here is just grow so so big and not so big in one place, but we've actually gotten some professors uh, in from Brazil and and uh, they've opened up some academies. Now we have one south side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have Rip one. Singh base. Is that, uh, that's a new one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's brand new uh, with, with Professor Fernando down there. And then we got one with uh, Professor Billy Bear out on Billy the west Clark. side, Billy Clark. That's a uh, four ten and Marbach. Oh, okay. Four ten and Marbach. Yep. And then now the cool thing is, uh, as you remember, we had our location on Maltzberger mm -hmm. behind Walmart over there. Yep. Uh, we also had our uh, Stone Oak location above the car wash. Those are no more. Really? What we've done is we've merged them right on Brook Hollow next to HB there. Oh, okay. So, that, that was an old UFC gym? Yeah. Oh, we perfect. Took it, we took it over. We took out most of the kicking bags, kept most yeah. of the machines. Awesome. And we've got four mats. Uh, so basically, you could say two major jiu-jitsu mats, a uh, kickboxing mat, and then an MMA mat. And plus, we have the cage. So the one over there by, uh, what, Cooters? Cooters? Uh, cooties. cooties cooties that one's gone? gone gone that was the original so oh wow so y'all merged those two together yeah, wow yeah. that's badass There's man a lot of memories in those hey you're yeah. expanding too and uh yeah i just saw the other day alex hernandez was teaching a whole bunch of people yeah over yeah. There. Yeah. yeah he's actually at uh the northeast location yeah. is he going to be merging over to that one or he has a, actually they have their own location oh okay northeast. okay that's uh o'connor road in nakadokis area oh i see yeah, so real, pretty, pretty spread out yeah real heavy wrestling program there him and his dad have a Oh, okay. Yeah, I know he's got that wrestling background. Yeah. You know, one thing I was thinking, because uh, Ohana's, you might just be San Antonio, but there's a lot of little branches too, like Rays, yes. right? And yeah, well, we have a couple of uh, affiliates. Special yeah. Jason has some affiliate gyms oh, okay. yeah. down in the valley, right? Yeah, one down in the valley, uh, one up, uh, is it New Braunfels or even further New up? Braunfels, New Braunfels. New yeah. Braunfels, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And then we have one uh, with Jeff Benugli. Which is not, it's not quite New Braunfels. It's, uh, in the I would call it just above shirts. Yeah, there you go. So just above shirts, up, right off the 35. You can see it off the 35 on the frontage road. So, and he's a, he was a world champion karate guy for many, many years, like high level karate Hunchy, stuff. Hunchy Jeff. Hunchy, Hunchy Jeff Benugli, yeah. Nice. And now he's a uh, Master Seven world champion uh, jiu jitsu as well. Man, that's awesome. It's crazy. Growing up, my uncle was a, uh, like a, three-time texas champion karate martial or uh i guess martial arts yeah yeah pretty cool awesome. i mean yeah, it's fun stuff i got a third degree black belt i'm like damn that shit's awesome i thought it was bruce lee when i was little <laughs> was like a hero, right? <laughs> yeah pretty much because i didn't know back then i didn't really understand the whole concept of grappling and wrestling and all that just most people did not striking yeah. you know yeah, I grew you didn't up have karate, it. So. yeah. The, 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 was. The, the welcoming to any kind of grappling i had i was actually a taekwondo i'm a third degree black belt taekwondo i did it for 20 plus years uh and so 
UFC was starting. So I told the professor or master at the time, I said, Hey, let's, let's do some grappling. So he said, gives me the 16 year old kid. And I just keep getting guillotined after guillotine and I'm tapping and tapping and my <laughs> neck pops. And he says, that's the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the wrestling top wrestlers. Not uh, sure. God, what do they call them? It's, uh, it's, it's basically in the school systems. Oh, like a D one wrestler. Yeah. He was, or... he was only a 16, but he was a championship wrestler. Oh, okay. So I got, I got set okay. up and I got punished. You got punished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From there on, I knew I had to learn grappling. Well, Jacob, we, uh, we didn't know we were having you on the show till late, but we, you know, we yeah. kind of looked at your background. saw so you have some actual Bellator fights. I mean, Correct, yeah. tell us what that's like. That's pretty freaking awesome to get to that level. It's uh, it's kind of surreal. It's more like a memory than like an experience pretty much. You know, kind of, I remember doing it and I remember getting ready for it and whatnot, but um, it's, it's uh, something I'll probably remember when I'm old still, I got the, you know, fight under some pretty big lights and whatnot. So, what what venues did you uh did you go to? Both I fought um Bellator 228 and Bellator 233 both at the uh, Windstar Casino in Oh, in Oklahoma. Uh, Thack- oh, so, oh, that's Oklahoma. right. Oklahoma. That's right. Okay. Yeah, up by Dallas. We yeah. went there, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we've been there and we had uh we've had credentials to go to the fights there. That's so, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bellator is easy to get credentials, they, they but do, man. Dude, if fight out there, my first one was like during the summer I fought uh, AJ Agazarm uh sometime last year and it was like summertime. The pool was open. They give you per diem. Like they, they did it right. It's, did they? <laughs> it's, a, it's a good, a good spot, you know, during the summer. Yeah, I know, and then it's fucking big. It's like the biggest casino. I think yeah. that's what they advertise. But ain't nothing else to do in the city, but <laughs> but that. Yeah, we actually <laughs> drove from Dallas. We went to the Errol Spence fight that night. Okay. Uh, when he fought who? Larry. Uh, Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia. Yeah. And okay. uh, and then after the fight, we drove the. Was that a PBC boxing? Uh, yeah, it was a pay per view for Premier Boxing okay. in uh, the Cowboy Stadium. That's where okay. the fight was. But it was what was the, what was the uh, pro, like the uh, promotion? Yeah, Premier Boxing. Oh, okay, Premier Boxing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I actually have one fight with them too. Oh, Do nice. Yeah, I fought um, on the Keith Thurman Jose Cito Lopez uh, undercard. That was the first fight of the night. Okay. So yeah. would, would you say too, yeah. would you say your background is boxing or is it? No, not at all. I'm, I'm definitely a jujitsu MMA fighter that they that does some boxing. I was gonna oh, say okay. it's funny you say that because Clay Collard, a UFC fighter, has been fighting boxing and he's beat three undefeated prospects back to back to back this year. And, uh, and he's he's looking pretty tough. Like uh, the boxing is nice, man. They treat you very well. You get paid a lot more, yeah, from uh, what the I've pay seen. It was great. I fought uh, Keith Thurman's like main sparring partner, so it was a, they're definitely trying to set me up to go up there. But I mean, uh, I think I was there for like five days, all expenses paid. It was it was a great trip, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. I know uh, Ray's doing that boxing promotion, wasn't he? Or wasn't he involved in that, Ray Rodriguez? He was. I don't think so. Some boxing promotion coming up soon. I oh, think. Oh, he's he's a, he's a prom- he's part of the promoting team. Yeah, oh, so, yeah. That new he's, company in San Antonio. That's yeah. Put it on fight. Okay. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They had stuff at uh, Alamo Dome. I saw. Yeah, yeah. I was actually going to fight on that March twenty eighth card. Oh man, that would have been awesome. Yeah, and we we just found out. I mean, we we assumed it was going to be canceled. Yeah. Yeah. We are actually, I think, going to go to that. Yeah, we were kind of excited about something happening because yeah. we, right. and then it's nothing. you yeah. know, and that's the thing with uh, San Antonio being as big as this, we want to fucking have our name out there. That's why everyone gets behind Alex so much. And, yeah. But yeah. we need more, though. We need more. Man. We big, need uh, the San Antonio will come out for big boxing, I think. Oh, know? big time, dude. Yeah. And there's always little, I mean, that's what boxing is, right? It's little hispanics that are fast as hell that can <laughs> beat the shit out of each other so we have had um the champion mario barrios in here a few times he's, okay nice he's, he's awesome dude. yeah he's sure. awesome dude he's a cool ass kid and he's he cool, uh we like him man so before you leave though we're gonna have to get you to sign our belt so all right definitely everyone else has but uh man so i didn't sign it yeah, no, you did, didn't you? Oh, world I thought no, you did. We had Ray do it, but I was thinking that last night actually. If you signed it, because I didn't, I didn't want to ask you and not ask you. He has his own pen ready. Yeah, I know he's fucking. That's funny. Here's a cool thing about you talk about me being 58 and awesome. Uh, I'm senile too, so I just figured out what I was trying to say about the wrestler. He was a CIF wrestler. Oh, see how okay, that works okay. when you get okay. old. Yeah, when you get old. I don't have that excuse. Mine's just a pot, the amount of pot I smoke. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so welcome to Talking Hands, guys. I appreciate y'all coming awesome. out. Uh, we wanted to give y'all, you know, opportunity to plug Ohana as much as y'all 
you know, Cam, we know they're good guys that run that place and uh, that, you know, work out there. And, awesome. Yeah. And we're all, it. we're all behind it. And uh, what we do is we bet on y'all. <laughs> we bet on <laughs> fighters. <laughs> That's so cool. um, appreciate it too. what do y'all think so far of the card? I uh, like that uh, Miller did what he did. I mean, it's just a little bit of history on the books that, you know, nothing's going on in the world right now, except for everybody's panicking and fighting. Yeah. Without, without it being good fights. This and is so huge there's for, a good fight yeah. and there's a record broken or at least uh, one, one passed by, you know? And yeah. so I thought, Hey, that's, that's something good for the, for the world right now. Just even if it's a small little thing. I agree. And this is like a good example. I mean, he's setting a huge example for other sports. Yeah, they're doing sure. something right because they're they've had what six events already since yeah no, may 9th no, was the first event I mean, back with yeah no major uh you know issues issues yeah, yeah. no major issues and well they've had a, quite a bit of cancellations one or two but yeah. he fucking yeah. filled them up right away yeah, yeah. yeah. there's fighters and, there's fighters out there yeah. and uh without having fans man i have to as a as uh, as love watching this shit i would rather watch fights on tv with no fans I enjoy it a lot. You get to hear a lot more. You hear a lot. Yeah, yeah. I love listening to the corner. I love hearing them. Uh, of course, if you're a fan, you want to be there. You want sure. fans to be there. But yeah. yeah, I mean, what do y'all think about that? I think it's awesome. I've never been to a UFC fight, but I've been to the reservation in uh, California. Uh, a, a fighter took me there, and I got to see somebody fish hook somebody for the first time. <laughs> it was awesome. He put that guy out cold. And the referee was on the other side of the head, so he didn't see the thumb in his mouth. Yeah. And he just oh, pounded shit. his temple until he was out. Oh, I was like, man. oh, that was cool, man. You can't do that, though. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Jacob? Um, well, when I fought it in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center, it was the first fight of the night. So a huge arena, and there was probably like 12 people there. So yeah. it's weird. Wow. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's tough for boxing. Yeah, those undercards, they don't fill 12 up. 12 yeah. people there, none of them spoke English. There were like the foreigners that got there early, you know? Wow. It, it, I appreciated their support. It was awesome. But it's being able to hear yourself breathe and and uh, hear your coaches, it was definitely a little different. Um, but I think uh, maybe it's just adding another layer to fighting now. Like um, some people say, take the cage away, leave the cage there. It's something. Well, now this is something else the fighters got to adapt to. Mm-hmm. There's no no crowd noise they can uh your opponent can hear his, his coach but you can hear him also you know so i'm thinking it's maybe might have something to do that and the smaller cage with all the finishes we've, right. we've been seeing you know that's and, something preston brought up the smaller yeah. cages i mean we've been banking on unders this whole fucking last three weeks yeah unders have been yeah. hidden miller, because... miller was an under uh miller was an Five under yeah. Good, yeah. that was a good under too anytime he wins you know he's in he's gonna fight for another year or so like, if you would have put a hundred bucks on miller to win by sub you would be like up 800 bucks right now yeah something. i mean wow. someone i'm just looking at this bet right here someone bet 1986 so 1986 dollars on a three-team parlay of bobby green over two and a half rounds and good muhammad and Jim Miller, they got paid twelve thousand seven hundred ninety dollars. Oh, <laughs> Having a good day. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I don't know who can bet two grand on <laughs> on a parlay. Yeah, on a three team yeah, parlay just to throw it away. But hey, he and cashed on, out on, twelve grand and on this card too. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's crazy. Not, not the yeah. Floyd Mayweather could. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That probably was him. Oh no! I even saw we were talking about like the boxing on ESPN. Someone bet one hundred sixty-seven k to win four thousand dollars. People are bored on uh, <laughs> yeah. this, this young prospect. Like he's twenty years old. He's fifteen and zero. Wow. He fought a guy who was twenty-one and three. He shut him out. But it's like one hundred sixty-seven grand to win four thousand dollars. Damn, dude! People like, are what are we doing? I know, crazy, do, right? right? It's like fucking playing the lottery though, because every time we bet on it, we're like, we're, we're nail biting yeah, on exactly. something that's supposed to be easy. Half the time, as a fan, though, we're like, the corner, we expect them to, to use their full potentials, like, but their game plan seems like they're not even going after what they have been training for, or what we heard in the interviews. Like, uh, Yeah, we talked about it before we got on, yeah. how uh, Jim was saying, well, once you get hit in the face, the game plan can go out all, the window. All out the window, yeah. I imagine. Yeah. yeah. So you think it's tougher on these fighters with no crowd? I think for some fighters it has to be, you know, and then some fighters might just be savages and they don't care. They okay. run through somebody, but it affects if even if it affects one person on, in the UFC, you know, it, it's got to affect. affect other people. Yeah, yeah. You know? it has to. It's because it's, I because I've heard some of the people say, "Oh, well, it's just kind of like a sparring session." Blah blah. blah. I'm yeah. like, no, these guys are fucking trying to yeah. kill each other. I'm sure for... some people may it might be an advantage. Maybe someone has a real good connection with their coach or something that might. You know, help them out. You know, a lot of these guys have code words that they spit out. You know, where computer blue run it. You know, oh, okay. That means something. Yeah, Sean O'Malley's great with that with yeah, his coaching like with codes. So I mean, yeah. it might actually help some fighters out. You know, I mean, 
one way or the other, it might uh, have some effect, I think. Do y'all guys have any favorite fighters, like, currently in the UFC mm. that you enjoy watching? I know you're not, like, a – you're going to put their poster on the fucking wall. And yeah. shit, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I like, you know, the 145 division right now, 155, they're just stacked heavy. You know, I've yeah. always been a Poirier fan. I like him at 55, 70. Um, that fight coming up with a hooker is going to be dirty. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be a great fight. Yeah, you know? I just saw the promo on that. That's I've always nice. been a Diaz Brothers guy. My, yeah. my dog's name is Stockton, motherfucker. That's that's his his name. That's funny. <laughs> and it's funny when I fought at AJ Agazarm, he trains with them, you know. So mm-hmm. it was kind of like uh, everywhere I went, I went to go get ice, you know, in the hallway, and I'd hear Stockton, motherfucker. And I'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, 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 they were all heavy really know, so i love the ds bro that's awesome dude they've been around for so long it's like they're a big yeah, part man. of the ufc in my opinion yeah, yeah. for sure for sure that's cool who do y'all have in this one here um Pennington. we actually lean differently yeah he's got pinning and i've got uh i've got rain renew pennington by decision mm-hmm. yeah yeah we you know i guess Everyone thought she had a little better uh, wrestling, maybe, but but she can survive. You know, she'll survive with Holly, no problem. She didn't take too much damage in that fight, right? Yeah, neither girl really do- yeah. did much, though. So. It, you know, like tonight, some of the things is like, uh, for instance, like the Van Brunnen, the 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 newcomer. She's fighting Tisha Torres, who's obviously we know she has all this experience in the world, and she's got fast hands, good yeah. boxer. But she's lost four in a row. She's facing a newcomer that's a pure wrestler that likes to put pressure. And it's like the game plan went out the window and Tisha Torres just lit her up. I mean. I think she tried to get her to the ground. She couldn't really get her to the ground. And yeah, this is the first or, fight. Two times. Yeah. I guess my point is at some point, I guess we're going to have to figure out not to bet on newcomers. <laughs> I guess, guess we always get burned by that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it used to be like with the crowd, they'd be jittery. Like they'd be nervous to come out, you know, a big crowd. But now I guess it's just, yeah, they're not ready for like the bright lights maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's got to be different. We're fighting a regional fight to going right to the UFC. Well, when you're trying to like chain uh, takedown round after round, do you? I mean, I imagine the crowd would help you, right? Your adrenaline and everything. A little bit, a little I bit. Mean, I would, like I said, most of my fighting is like a memory. I like I remember that. Kind of like, <laughs> do I fight? Sometimes I gotta, you know, check the old CTE meter. You know, but um, crowd could one definitely pump you up, but it could also kind of drain you too. Say you're the person on the bottom, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, every time this guy hits me, the crowd goes crazy. You know, man, how am I going to win this? You know, it can start putting some doubt into mm-hmm. your mind, too. Do both of y'all guys uh, train at, y'all both are at Ohana, the same location? Yeah, yeah. Ohana headquarters. So oh, okay. the, the headquarters. That new location yeah. where we merged the two over off of 21 and uh, Brook Hollow, that's now Ohana headquarters. So Cool. Yeah. And that's what, Jason Yarrington? Yeah, the right. founder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jason Yarrington. Does he, uh, is he a jiu-jitsu guy? I mean, oh, yeah. he, he rolls he's around. He's a world too? champion. Is he? Yeah. World champion. Wow. I, I saw him up when uh, they had the fight, the UFC fights here with Alex Hernandez mm-hmm. was up on the yeah. pumping up the crowd. Yeah. And he was up there looking all big. I was like, man, I know that guy's from somewhere. Yeah, man. He's, an yeah, awesome he's, guy, he's man. good people for sure. He just kind of looks like a like a Hollywood guy, like a superstar, right? Like he's <laughs> noticeable. He's, I don't know. He's just like. He's yeah, a you, model too now, you, right? You almost feel like yeah, he's a. Yeah. What is the company? Is I that? almost yeah. thought he was more important than Alex. That's what I'm trying to say. Like he's uh, like he's got a big presence, a large presence. You well, know? I mean, if he keeps you know farming these young kids, you that's know, badass. Yeah, maybe you know he might be. I'm hoping someday know? I sponsor his son. Man, it's crazy watching these kids. <laughs> Being a jujitsu coach, I teach, I fight, you know, I train full time, but I, I teach kids classes five days a week, and watching some of these kids, and you can mm-hmm. like, man, some of these kids are going to be awesome. Yeah. Today. You could tell, you know. So, like, when y'all were young, did they have this kind of stuff? It wasn't Kar- karate. Was it karate, a pure like MMA taekwondo, though? Not really. Or wrestling. No. So it was different things yeah. you had to go do. It to wasn't each. all in one. You area. Were, yeah. I was at a sensei's dojo behind his house doing karate. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. There was a couple of uh, strip mall kind of karate dojos and some taekwondo stuff, right. but not much. When the Gracies came over, it didn't like take off right away. Right. It wasn't like instantaneous. Like it. Mm-hmm. You know? So it took a little. So I grew up doing karate myself. I, yeah. I didn't know what jujitsu was, you know, until middle school age or so late the, middle school. So the kids already have an advantage nowadays. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're going to one location training for all. You know, well, no, especially you'll see on a fight pass. They do 
uh, jujitsu tournaments yeah. online all the time. Yeah, yeah. Kids, he's yeah. always in them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like there's uh, he was rolling yeah. in them every week before your hip. Yeah, yeah. There's that one. He's like a 15 year old kid who's mm-hmm. like a, the best jujitsu guy, yeah. like in America right now. I forgot his name, but he like That's he sick. just beat uh, could be Cole uh, or Golden. What's his name? Cole. The G guy, uh, Gordon Gordon Ryan or something. I he's he's like a well, Gordon big, Ryan's an older guy. Yeah, I can't think of the kid's name. But he's but, good. Well, Gordon yeah. has a little brother, Nicky Ryan. He's okay. a pretty young kid too. He's yeah, awesome. okay. Maybe maybe it's someone with There's him. There's just so many at that level right now. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. Yeah, because yeah. can make a living doing jujitsu. Yeah, because the yeah. last guy wow. I remember who's like came in just off jujitsu was BJ Penn. Or that Vero. Yeah. Uh, or a Vieira. Yeah, but yeah, Adolfo Vieira right now is really, <laughs> yeah, really. He's one of our GF tiers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's a whole different level. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's cool because. Um, I mean, like, yeah, growing up here, we didn't even have wrestling. Yeah. You know, there was yeah. no wrestling at school or nothing. And, yeah, and you talk like, about Caleb. Don't play baseball, know, right? My, my yeah. son, Caleb. Yeah, baseball and football is it. Ka- Caleb's doing this jujitsu, and he's so good at it. He's one of his coaches. He coaches uh, yeah, Caleb. that's awesome, dude. And I keep telling Caleb, I say, you know, basketball ain't going to work for you, son. You're going to make varsity first year in wrestling. I don't know about wrestling. <laughs> like, you're going to be a star at it because of what you do. And I by, think by the time he hits high school, yeah. his wrestling skills are going to be crazy good. But you can even tell just out, you know, because I have not like I've never I haven't been in person to watch them fight live. Right. I've seen your your videos. But as far as just a kid and his demeanor and everything about him, you can tell like he's got great life skills like yeah. discipline. And he's a good kid, a nice kid. He doesn't have to worry about getting bullied because he knows he can chuck the shit out of anyone probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but you don't, he doesn't show it. Like he's not aggressive. He doesn't act that way. Right. I know another kid that's in cash is great. It's a karate guy and he's just talks his mouth off. Like, you know, totally, totally hey. like a bully. Yeah. I'm like, dude, who's your sensei or whatever. It's a Cobra Con dojo. <laughs> Sweep him. <laughs> Sweep the leg. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, jujitsu will definitely humble most yeah it's a very humbling experience you know we were in fucking ray rodriguez's uh we sat in on a live jiu-jitsu training and they're they're like a practice or whatever and they get through the end of the session i guess like the last five minutes they just fucking hit it hard like full yep. speed yeah. and me and him are just sitting there like oh shit this is the most intense <laughs> shit we've ever seen it's like he's, right a, he's very intense he's man like, dude pushes hard that guy i'm like i couldn't imagine i mean fuck. yeah no shit. it's just yeah, we I got put in karate when I was like five. And I was like, Yeah, I'm done with this. Like, I mean, how long did it last? Yeah, like two weeks because I was in a class with like 10 year olds. I'm like, oh, okay. what, what am I doing here? You're like, like 17, 14? Uh, no, I was five years old. Oh, five, yeah, 19, <laughs> yeah, 1995. So oh, wow. that was okay. kind of when UFC was starting to pick up a little yeah. bit. And I was like, Yeah, I'm done with this. Like, yeah. and uh, I played football, but dude, I mean, that we're like sissies compared to y'all because we have pads on, we don't fucking feel yeah. it's not as bad as people claim it to be the big thing i see is people getting winded uh you know they get so tired on the mat i don't know if it's their their, what they're eating or the young guys i'm talking sometimes i'll be on my third class of the day and i see these guys wanting to sit down in the corner i'm all you guys can't sit if you're younger than i am and you don't have the stuff i have get get up and go yeah Yeah. (laughs) see him going you gotta keep yeah, you gotta yeah, keep going. No. If, I'm, if I'm on the mat, you gotta go. Yeah, no, that's, that's the intimidating part for someone like me because I fucking never want to be there. I'd be like, uh, I can't fucking sit down for a second. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't even know. Who we, fuck. We, we, we keep a trash can close by to throw up. 270 pound, pound guy. Who the hell am I gonna roll around with? It's more like, fucking, me? we got some big guys in there. <laughs> we just had a guy, I forget his name, it just signed up. He's a Ex cowboy, ex Canadian football, ex arena. He's big been all over. Yeah. Wow. I think he's, he told me he's about 285. Holy bro. shit. But solid. There's a difference from his 285 and mine. Yeah. I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling. <laughs> I'm not rolling. <laughs> Jacob says, Hey, Jamie, I got you a new rolling yeah, partner. I like, yeah, I got buddy. <laughs> yeah, fucking. He walks over to meet him and he's like, What the heck? I'd like to see that. Yeah. What, uh, what, what weight did you fight at? I fight, well, I currently fight at 145. Okay. So, uh, currently fight at 145. Yeah. Cool. I fought kind of all over the place. I started 170, um, fight most on the regional, uh, 155, and then recently the Bellator is 145. It, we see on those jiu-jitsu tournaments, Ohana's always freaking like, yeah, especially man. in San Antonio, like we always lot, the number one. A lot of team trophies. Yeah. That's awesome. Trophies, mm-hmm. Even on the even on the world stage now, we're starting to get them. 
That's good. Part of it is we've we've gotten a bigger team now. So we talk about being in San Antonio. We've also kind of uh, partnered up with GFT, uh, a grappling fight team. Mm -hmm. And so when we go to the international events, we're together with them, and we've already started winning stuff from the bigger teams. Uh, and so we're starting to get recognized, uh, and, and in a good way. Is this like up against the Finch Clint type shit? This yeah. is where you this out. is all like wrestling, right? It's a different kind of wrestling. Like there's definitely. Uh, way different taking someone down on the cage than off the cage uh, man she's got her in the clinch pretty tight here oh yeah this is something knees, i thought would happen so knees. oh uh, those are dirty knees right most there most of Pennington's fights she's usually hanging around the cage right yeah so yeah one way or another pushing her yeah or the person hitting. against the cage is going to get more tired than the person pushing because i'm just kind of wondering i mean hey, there you go jiu-jitsu it feels like you have to have some sort of wrestling or takedown. I mean, isn't uh, like a shoot considered some kind of? I mean, honestly, the sport of jujitsu itself would take out the punching and the kicking aspects. It has no like prerequisites. Mm -hmm. You could come in and never have done it, and within six months, you could be um, at least um, have enough confidence in yourself that you could protect yourself. Really, you know, from an average, another average person mm -hmm. trying to attack. Is that just you like could, figuring out your guards yeah, easily stuff. like if you were to take a kid that's trained jujitsu six months and like a kid who's trained maybe taekwondo six months yeah. and just let him go well, it's close. not gonna be close wow dude that's so that's you, encouraging jujitsu <laughs> itself man it's six months you have people starting at 50 40 30 i didn't yeah. start till i was 25. wow so it's yeah. it's it's great i've always thought about it just to like lose weight and stuff but no obviously that sounds great yeah. but of course you're gonna have <laughs> the the physical specimens that walk in of course it helps to be athletic and yeah exactly yeah, they can maybe do stuff a little quicker but you you'll see some people that uh like nikki ryan like we're talking about gordon's little brother mm -hmm. he just looks like a 16 year old kid walking to school and he really rip your leg off you, holy you know? shit and they're just some savages man. Yeah. that's what i feel with your son i mean he's walking yeah. around hey, these he's giants pounds. and 80 pounds. i guarantee yeah. you he'll snap any of those kids necks and take them down cool little story he's a little buddy in the neighborhood now they're they friends now they met at the pool, so the kid's 30 pounds heavier than Caleb. And he says, I do karate, I'm a black belt. And so the kid challenges Caleb to takedowns. Caleb Ooh. took him down three times in a row, and that was the end of that. That was it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's just one of those things where, you know, it is. It's a different aspect of a fighting type of a style that nullifies most other arts uh not always i mean sometimes somebody gets a shot in or or, or does both arts like you know i did taekwondo and now i got uh jujitsu so i could i could kick somebody but not be scared to be taken down and that's what i see the difference is now is if you're a stand-up fighter but now all of a sudden you're a purple belt brown belt black belt jujitsu you're not afraid to throw the punches or the kicks because if you're up on the ground you're not scared anyway you mm -hmm. already know what to do down there yeah. so it, it changes the game so and which of course, that brings up why it's MMA because you're doing multiple arts now. Does it void uh, any jujitsu technique or anything by like being out, like someone being just way stronger than you? Uh, I mean, I would like to say jujitsu always wins, but there's there's always situations. Never, never happens. say never. Never, never. never say never. Okay. Yeah. So I figured that's what I was kind of like. Well, damn, I feel like a jujitsu guy could take out. But uh, I'll tell you what, there's like uh, that. There is a tipping point. There's a like, we have, you could take one of, let's say the size of Professor Fernando, right? Yeah. From the Brooks, Brooks yeah. location. He's maybe he's 150, a 150, 150 pounds. 150, maybe. Maybe soaking wet. And you were to take someone maybe 250, 100 pounds on top of him. And I guarantee this guy's going to strangle him. Once you get to that upper echelon kind of world-class yeah. jujitsu, yeah. you're, I'm, you're, then you're, you're, then you're, you're good, man. And you can yeah. see someone it. Someone big, like, someone yeah. small, yeah. it doesn't matter. And you always you see know? it in the UFC, like the jiu-jitsu guys are just but if we're talking about two beginners and right. one's 300 pounds huge and one's 150 okay, you just, yeah. Gonna be something. yeah you're gonna, you're gonna get smashed and you can't breathe and it's tough yeah. and i always see these guys that are like high class they don't fuck around dude they just go straight for the yeah. fucking finish and cut, get over cut with. through you man. <laughs> yeah, yeah through you yeah 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 that's the worst is when we see uh like damian maya sitting there throwing and we're like Dude, we know you could yeah. snatch this guy in one second. Let's yeah. just do the, it. The now. cool thing yeah. that this is what I love best about jujitsu, especially for me, because you, you know me, I've got metal all through my body. And by the way, on the second, I'm getting a knee replacement. So we're, here we go again. The with bionic. Some, they're calling me Wolverine now at the gym. So oh, it's kind of cool. But 
What I like is if I do stand up only, if I break a toe, I can't do stand up for till that toe heals. I broke a toe in jujitsu. The, the toe was shoot, shooting straight out sideways. So I put tape on it. And for the next four weeks, I, I fought off my back. So what I what did I learn there? I let everybody get on my chest and suck my air out. And I learned how to breathe. Wow. So, so you take the bad in jujitsu and you turn it into good. And, and you can't always do that with the other arts. If you break a hand, you can't punch. Yeah. You know, so so you have that awesome situation where you can be hurt, but you don't have to stop training. You just change your training and you actually learn more. There you go. Is there another question I had was, is it totally different? I mean, is jiu-jitsu jiu-jitsu or is there like training from your back and then being the aggressor, like getting on top? I mean, is it all just one? You learn everything? Everyone kind of finds their game, you know? Because I noticed some of these people like to fight from their back. Casey, oh. uh, everyone fights Casey their game. today was just, all she was trying to do is the armbar, armbar, armbar yeah. from have, her back. You have some like, guys who will shake hands and immediately kind of sit down. They want to play the bottom game. So you find your own game. You know, okay. Some people like the bottom. Some people like the top. Some people love to wrestle. Some people, I don't want to wrestle. So when know? they're doing that, it's just pure, com- they're just in their comfort zone. That's Pretty what much, do. yeah. You, you know, you find your own game. It seems like they're smartening it up, though. No one's fucking jumping in the guard like they used to back in the day. <laughs> they're like, let me just go dive on top of this jiu-jitsu master. Yeah. Fucking. And most yeah. people are pretty comp- they are. competent now yeah. in the ground works. You know? um, so when are we starting, guys? Come on down. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah right. First yeah. Class for we at least guys. get Cash so in there. We wanted to get Preston involved, too, at Ray's gym. Yeah, I want to get Cash involved. My son. He, he's, he'll he'll, he'll cut Cash out for a couple weeks and just yeah. see if he likes it. Cash yeah. is he'll very take, He'll take him. He's yeah. like strong, like a, he's a beast. So I'm like, man, I'd love to get him in there. Yeah, he's yeah. more of a boxer though, because it's funny when him and his son and my son walk next to each other, they look yeah. like twins. Yeah, oh, they're they're like even the walk the yeah. same. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we get we get that all the time. Is this your brother? <laughs> it's pretty Usually, because cool. they're playing basketball and they're the only two little white kids in the whole gym. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and they're shorter than everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> but they're fast and they're good. Hey, this fight's uh. This fight's going. This is yeah. getting good, man. Yeah. Every, every time I look up, yeah. someone else has the other on the cage. So yep. we started late, and we're kind of bored right now because we don't have any action. But uh, next fight, man, that's where the big that's one. The one. Emmett, yeah. Yeah. Josh Emmett, and, and uh, Shane Burgos. Shane Burgos. Going heavy Burgos. Yeah. Heavy Burgos. And, and, you know, Elliot, or was it, I'm sorry, Emmett has Emmett. the knockout power. Yeah, early early power. So we're worried about that because at 145, he has a 100% knockdown rate. So every fight he's fought, he's yeah. knocked the dude down, whether he wins or loses. But the smaller my, cage. My son's asking, are we on Facebook right now? Yeah, we should be. Okay. I, yeah, I, I got I got the YouTube up, but okay. yeah, I think we got both. Uh, yeah, I saw it on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming you, this is your son saying, "Hey, Dad," on YouTube. Ka- yeah. Kaya. K- Kelly. Caleb. Caleb. K- Okay, Caleb oh, Bubs. K- KYA is my daughter. Oh, oh that, okay. Oh, that's yours then. Okay. Hey, there Kaya, what's up? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Need to come down to the gym, Ohana. No, yeah, the one thing though with jujitsu that I would hate is getting choked by the gi. Like whenever yeah. I see that stuff, I'm like, I, I, I don't want this. Choking like, gets I don't want it's this. not very fun. Yeah, the, the it's gi horrible was... until you get uh, good enough to choke. Or a someone. guy just yeah. with like a ton yeah. of sweat and like hair, just like choking you yeah. with the gi. It's like come the on. gi looks like it would hurt more, but yeah. does it? I love the gi myself. If they let me fight in the gi, I would like horse Gracie style. Would sure. you? I wouldn't have to cut so much weight. I'd have right. a bad bout under there. I would, you know. Yeah. Choke people with the gi on the regular. How, what's it feel like cutting weights? It sucked. It's horrible, man. I mean, you can see I'm not the smallest guy. I walk around 85 ish and I fight 45, so about 40 pounds. Man, it's not too fun. I mean, that's got to be fucking miserable. As y'all know, my girlfriend's in the studio. She has to put up with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's not, Mr. I'm Grumpy not Pants. Fun. I'm not fun. I live off eggs and uh, and multivitamin, too. For that's a it. Weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, man. I... But it's tough because so many other fighters cut so much weight too. So you it's, don't want to be like the smaller, gotta, smaller you guy. Have, you want to be comparable. You have to keep up with, yeah. you know, the trend. Yeah, yeah. That's what. It's, it's some, almost kind of like cheating in a way to yeah. me. It's well, like, man, because you we've been seeing some of the older fighters kind of fighting. You know, cowboy going up, kind of mm-hmm. going up. Yeah, Pettis even. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if universally fighters started going up at the higher ranks, maybe it would trickle down to the lower ranks and you'd see some better fights and what but even they have to implement that to me in high school because we had a kid yeah. he was wrestling at 106 he 
walked around at 130. He's a 15 year old kid. He's gone 24 yeah, pounds. Not safe. I mean, he he was like yeah. one of the top wrestlers in the dangerous. state. Dangerous. But it's like, why does he have to cut 24 pounds to wrestle? Because he would just pick the guy up and just slam him. Like, well, I know, nothing. like the mm. Las Vegas, uh, Nevada commission right now will they'll suggest you move up in a weight class or they won't let you fight in that weight class if you missed a weight. But I think like one oh, FC wow. does the hydration test. Yeah, yeah, they do. And that yeah. wouldn't be a bad thing. You're you're knocking on fighters doors all hours of the night for a urine test anyways. I don't see why. Mm -hmm. Check the hydration. You can see kind of trend where their weight trends normally and you know, you can only lose so much body percentage. Yeah, because that's kind of what happened with Camacho. He uh, missed weight by three pounds, yeah. and he was just drained. He came out the first shot. Yeah, he was pretty he much do. done. Yeah. Like I feel like they called the it shot. a little early. Yeah, I mean it was. Yeah, was it was fucking, a thirty-second fight. But he looked like he was weaving and bobbing a little bit there at the end. Like yeah. he could have got out of it. You don't know how someone's gonna recover. Yeah, for sure. But it's just yeah, the weight. Yeah, the weight cuts are horrible for some of these guys yeah they've mentioned uh i've seen some people mention in the mma they're thinking about moving the weight up so that round everything up i think five pounds y'all heard that or? i mean uh the podcast and whatnot i listen to there, there's a lot of call for more weight classes you oh know? more that would be fucking cool you know instead of uh like 205 to 220 you know you could do like a 215 right there in the middle or like uh the 70 to 85, maybe 75, 85, 95, something like that. Every 10 pounds. Boxing, yeah. there's tons of so tons yeah, of Yeah, every every pounds. four pounds. You yeah. Know, 118, 22, 26, more, 30, 35. More holders, more, yeah. you know, money coming in. I'll be honest, I feel like the fucking heavyweight division outside like the top three or four guys is fucking not that great anymore. Yeah, man. <laughs> it I mean, seems weird. Yeah, you don't see Big it. Big guys don't last that long. Dude. Well, I mean, but I yeah, don't know. Well, Cormier and uh, Stipe just signed, right? August. Yep. And then we got right Blades August. tonight. Yeah. yeah. And then Nganu. And then Nganu. The and outside guy. that, I yeah. mean, like Derek Lewis, to me, he's not really like. So do y'all think Jones makes the move up to heavyweight eventually? I think he retires first. You think so? I do. He's one. Of my, I mean, he's one of my favorite fighters, but. Yeah, definitely. Guy's a beast. Yeah, you can't deny the work. And he's, you know, he's uh defended his title so many damn times I mean, yeah he's really he, he has one loss which isn't really a loss on uh, his Hamill. record yeah mm -hmm. Hamill, so but yeah i don't know it's because he did he, the last few fights he, you can tell he's losing a little bit of a little bit I and mean, it's not, everybody does not and, much but. and it's maybe not him losing anything it's maybe he's being a little too cautious because he's he's facing guys that can knock you out now yeah so i don't know i don't feel like he was threatened before until now with guys like francis and fucking Blades. I mean, I feel like Blades would put him down, but Jones is a good wrestler too. I don't know. Should yeah, that be a good fight? Great wrestler. Was he uh, junior college or? Uh, um, yeah, is that like Ithaca, New York? So okay. probably. Yeah. Hmm. Man, and even like you're right though. This. With, wow. Yeah, like boxing, you Big make so much more money. Man, I'll tell you what. My first win, uh, how I got into boxing was when Connor signed the fight to fight Floyd. They were having a big boxing event here at the alamo dome uh world boxing super series it was a big fight uh freddie roach had a couple guys on there there was a couple of olympians on that card and i guess somewhere in the promotion they wanted to book an mma fighter on the card so they booked a couple they booked me on that card and uh ray trujillo do you know mm. ray trujillo the local fighter also. i i don't you might he's a big uh, boxing guy yeah so anyways i the i don't want to you know Long story short, the money that I made the first boxing fight was probably like the last three MMA fights I rolled into one. Yeah, because I really? just I just looked Barrios's last fight. He got paid one hundred twenty five thousand dollars. Dude, that's the main insane. event. Curtis Blades yeah. is going to make eighty five thousand dollars. Curtis that's, Blades is yeah, number three, three heavyweight in, in UFC. Why and Mario that? Barrios? He, he's a, he's a champion, but in his division, he's probably top ten ish. So it's yeah. it's wild, like it's definitely wild definitely. how they do it. And I don't get that. Why? And it also, seems like UFC gets to me. It seems like they're bigger than boxing. I think maybe the monopoly. You know, where if you don't like it, go somewhere else. You know? Yeah, no, no competition too yeah. for UFC. The so Cedric. Dana kind of pick and choose. I mean, Bellator's getting up there, but even though if they would let like Bellator let these fighters get individual sponsors, they could make so much more money. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I make a majority of my money. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. That's like, dude, especially with big cities, you'd have corporate corporations just throwing yeah. money at your ass. And boxing yeah. also has the uh, like straight purses. You know, MMA is like fight, win, show, show money. Oh, uh, bonus. Money. Yeah. Bonuses. Yeah. It's it's cool knowing planning, you know, especially these guys have families and whatnot. Yeah. Planning, you know, your income, you know, 
Yeah. It's kind of tough. I'm going to make double or I'm going to make half. Well, what sucks is, too, yeah, Dana, he always says, fight for a finish. You can get a performance bonus. Yeah. Get a performance bonus. It's like, why don't you pay me $10,000 more yeah, instead yeah. of, you know, having to go through a war? Right. And like sponsorships the, are crazy good. When you get to that level, I mean, aren't you paying a pretty penny for your camp and all that stuff, too? Yeah. Um, like on this March card or the Davis card we're talking about, I was putting together a camp, you know, and you, when the fight doesn't happen, you know. The money kind of goes away. Yeah. yeah, you have you have to invest. You know, you have to invest. That's one thing I've learned from Alex Hernandez at our gym. I see him like he invests in his camp. He like uses. He looks at his body like uh, like like a like money maker. Like yeah, a, yeah, this is just, what I'm gonna use. Yeah. You know? So I've been trying to follow his. His. Yeah, he's got uh, a good camp. Yeah, he's got like a, a LeBron camp. or like yeah. any of the high athletes. They so treat wild. their bodies. Yeah, like, like do you guys bring in specific yeah. fighters from other gyms? You'll to... have fighters come in, nutritionists yeah. come in, um, um, specialty boxing yeah. coaches. Even have someone. Hey, I like the way he wraps hands. Someone come wrap your hands for that. Okay. You know, yeah. is, that, is that someone y'all know, or is that like y'all's management? Do they? Or like your team, do they it's bring a, them in? I think it's a blend of everything. It's a blend, yeah. Just people know people, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. just say, hey, I got this guy that might you help know, you might out. Like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. But Alex being in the UFC, he's brought a couple guys over. Yeah. You know, um, who came in? Um, who we had in? I don't know if Anders worked with him or Anders not. Came he was in. there. Eric so, Anders yeah. came in. We've had a couple guys come in that wouldn't have come in if Alex yeah. wasn't on the roster, you know. So it's awesome being able to, to yeah. see these guys. We come have in a doors. really good training partner locally with him that's a lefty so when he's gonna face the lefties he's got a good training partner in-house that's pretty awesome that, okay you know, nice. pretty hard yeah chris right oh yeah, yeah. so okay. yeah did y'all guys want any other drinks or anything no i'm a lightweight dude. Yeah. I mean, uh, are you okay <laughs> I think, one we're gonna arm, I think we're going to arm wrestle for that. I see one, one, one left right one here. Sitting there. Oh, oh, you can have that. You can have it. It's still cold as hell, and I got tons in that freezer. He don't even <laughs> want to arm wrestle you. I got a whole bar's worth. We we decided to close. You know, by, these... the, by the way, the arm wrestle, it's with his legs over your head and oh, your shit, chest. Yeah. No, no, I'm a nice guy. Yeah, fuck. I don't like, I don't like confrontation. My, hey. dad, my dad used to tell me, you're going to learn just about enough to hurt yourself. <laughs> one of these days when i get when we get more followers i'll do a bit where i'll let y'all guys like punch me in the stomach or something oh, yeah, he, yeah he was saying he could take a shot from barrios to the body how about, a, how about like, a kick from james yeah oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just use my i've back seen back that oh, i've seen that a kick from jamie would be pretty good right? fucking yeah. liver i'll be pissing blood the next two weeks sure oh goodness yeah, that's happened too many times to me. So here's the big fight. Yeah, we, we got this. Uh, every time we lay big, big money, we, we get the worst luck. Yeah, I mean, as long as hopefully he doesn't get knocked out. I'm thinking that's the hope. luck, but. No, I mean, yeah, there, there's been so many split decisions I lose where I'm like, come on. Like, are you kidding me? Like, can I have but, some of my money back? Just yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Give me a little bit back. Do y'all guys ever gamble or anything like that on fights? I don't know how to gamble. Not much. I yes. don't yeah, I don't, I'm afraid of the Pete Rose thing. I don't yeah, no, up, yeah. yeah, it's funny because a lot of the right, fighters, right. Are gambling a lot of the fighters are gambling, aren't they? Some are. I know Alex was pretty against it when we spoke with him, but some, some would, fighters do for sure. He wasn't really against it. He just said he doesn't. He doesn't yeah. think about it. And I don't yeah. blame him. No fighter yeah, ever no probably thinks really. about it, but yeah, I'm we, sure some fighter thinks about it, but not maybe not most. Yeah, because right. I swear, dude, some of these fucking fights seem fixed to me. I'm gonna be honest. So, yeah, what do y'all think? I don't. Nowadays, I don't think they can. Like, no, like, probably not like, at the UFC level, not, not but like you're used to. You used like to at a it. Cowboys dance hall, you can maybe oh, yeah. fix a fight pretty easy. easy. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking scary five, to bet on. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're good. Yeah. There you go. We um, five hundred well, goes a long way at Cowboys dance hall. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Where were we? What was our biggest cash last week? We won three thousand on two weeks ago, or three weeks ago. Who was that? What was that event? Uh, where we won all the last money. Week was all the money. Week before was Nunez versus Spencer. Mm-hmm. We then, won three thousand on what was it? I can't think. Remember we put it Korean all on the end. He's still in the game, man. Korean Zombie is going to be fighting Ortega. Frankie soon. Frankie that's Edgar. A, that's oh, a Edgar? fight. That's is it? Frankie Edgar is fighting Pedro Munoz, oh, but oh, you're oh, right yeah. with Zombie and Ortega. Yeah, Ortega Ortega, yeah. Ortega Ortega's deep, been right? Hollywood. Ortega's Mr. Hollywood. I'm telling He's you, training uh, Halle Berry for her uh, movies. Oh, yeah. bro, I like I like. Uh, He's over there in California. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's definitely making that money. I like Korean Zombie in that fight, dude. He's a fucking beast. It's a scary name. Korean zombie. I want to fight is... someone in the Korean no zombie. No shit. way. But anything zombie, I'm not fighting. Anything. <laughs> He's got such good technical boxing and shit. I mean, it's so fucking good. Yeah. 
What do y'all? I know that. Um, how, how does Alex? I know that he's lost his last two. What, do y'all guys roll around with them? Do y'all train with them a lot? I mean, he trains with them more than I do. I, I roll with him every now and then. When, when he like, let's say after his last fight, well, how, I think he's uh, one and one, right? His last one, he fought one in San Antonio. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Trinaldo yeah. and then uh, he, he Dober. He lost to Dober. Lost to Dober. Then he yeah. lost to Cowboy before that. Yeah, that's lost right. Cowboy, yeah. So one, yeah, one out of three. Or, yeah, well, I mean, one and two, one and two. He beat uh, Mercier. Yeah, that's right. He beat uh, Darius. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He, Darius was probably the biggest win, I think. Right. Yeah, yeah. Darius is. Uh, that was a good one. That's a big, big win. So yeah, fun, a big name. Funny story. Right after, after my one of my fights, I took a little family vacation to California. So I'm like, oh, let's find a let's find a uh, gym close to to train. I brought my gi with me. I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, Kings MMA. Let me go into this place. And I go in there and I have a shirt, Ohana Academy. Not, and I look, and it's just a big old picture of Benil Darius, and they had just fought. Oh, wow. So they're like, where are you from? Oh, from San Antonio, Ohana Academy. And they're like, ah, oh. so Alex had just <laughs> knocked out Benil, and they, everyone knew who, you know, Alex was. <laughs> oh, shit. I see the instructor like, oh, all right, take his glasses off. He's like, all right, I'm training today. I was like, oh, man. Oh, like, oh. Wow. It's like a war. <laughs> well, like he thought you were, like, He's going like, in there yeah. to, like, yeah. start something? Or? Uh, no, he was just like, okay, I'm going to train today. Nah. Like, yeah. He wanted to make put a, a whooping on me while yeah I right like yeah yeah okay so instead story, of turning but, you away <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, I get to i get to train with alex man and he's a guy that makes me feel like i don't know how to fight really yeah same thing like these high level jujitsu yeah. guys like our black belt our role yeah. professor jason i'm a, a, a three stripe yeah. brown belt meaning you know i'm knocking on the door of a black belt and i roll with these guys and it's like oh i don't know anything like there's wow that's even, how it is from that, those last that's couple crazy. of notches are so those last couple sex or, or steps are so like vast and 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 large that they, you can really distance yourself someone from being a really good regional fighter and being a really good UFC fighter. So really, like, when I move with Alex, I'm like, man, I can't do anything. You Holy know? shit! I would say also there's so many different submissions like to learn all those submissions. It's endless, yeah. yeah, it's like we've been seeing. Uh, what's that one they're doing? Uh, it's not the can opener where they're like it's like a chicken wing. Uh, Twister, right? Oh, Twister. Yeah, Twister. Yeah. They're like, nasty. Yeah, they're it, doing. It, it's old, yeah. but it's kind of made a resurgence a yeah, little bit. Old, you can't do that like in a jiu-jitsu Twister. tournament. You can't do Thug it. Na- okay, Thug yeah. Nasty tried to do it twice in a row now. Fucking crazy. It's a, it's a nasty position. It's a nasty yeah. position, man. He was ragged on. Like, I couldn't do it. I'd have more screws in my back. I was going to say, yeah, for something like that, I feel like you have to be super flexible and like really yeah. high level to do. We were talking stuff. about the jiu-jitsu, the stripe system, because mm-hmm. I know some gyms don't even go by that. They're like, if yeah when they feel so, necessary they'll move you on but mm-hmm. i'm like that's kind of bullshit because yeah. yeah so you were telling me about the stripe of, system he can, he can expand on it but mostly here's the difference between the jiu-jitsu ranking system and most other martial arts not all because everybody has their own thing but in, in most martial arts especially american martial arts it's a money machine a little bit right so people got to make a living and pay their bills mm-hmm. so they get their white belt they test for yellow belt they test for green belt, they test for blue belt, they test for every belt. And it's usually about every three months. Okay, so that's why you see 16 year old black belts. Mm-hmm. Because they test, they pay, they test, they pay. Oh, and mommy, mommy's paying, and they're not going to get denied their belt. I see. So mm-hmm. jujitsu does not test. Some do, not all, some do, you can never say it, never. But most of them, it's when the professor says, you know what, he's reached or he or she's reached that next level. You get your belt or you get your stripe. So in our belts, we get the white belt and then we get four stripes. We get the blue belt, we get four stripes. So each stripe is kind of like getting a belt, but it's going to take over 10 years to get your black belt. Holy moly. Versus six months to uh, two years. Holy shit. So by the time. If That's you take, discouraging if you're someone like uh, fucking my age. Like, <laughs> I'm not going on. I might not even now. be alive not, to get my black years. belt. He's after. right there. Give him a, within the next year, he should have his black belt. With my luck, I'll fucking get to that next level and I'll roll over and die or some shit. I'll be like, I never got my black belt. Like, I don't took know, me I don't 10 know. years to get there. <laughs> you have some cool Instagram posts until then. I'll yeah, much. fuck yeah. Well, Not, like, nothing cooler than a jujitsu class picture. I can say that. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'll be like the fucking Jared for Ohana, like the Jared from Subway for Ohana. No, don't this be like that guy. Don't oh, yeah. be like that Yeah, guy. not no, with the fucking, no, not no, with yeah. the kitty no, shit. No. That's for sure. Yeah. No. 
Yeah, that's probably a bad thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can edit that out, right? And what's yeah, also cool that. is it's regulated. Not with all those kids around. Fuck that. So we, we fight in one of the systems. It's called IBJJF, the mm-hmm. international system. There's a lot of systems out there for competition. That's what I've seen but, in the rankings. Yeah, like, so, yeah, when you look it yeah, up. The so regional. IBJJF does this. Let's say I got my purple belt on this podium when I won Worlds, which I did. Well, I have to wait two years, according to them, to even get my next belt. If I get it before that, I can't compete. They won't recognize it. They won't it. recognize it until yeah. two years. They're like the reg- regulatory so they, they watch body. for you. So you're like a year away from black belt? Uh, I, I have no clue. He uh, doesn't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm but at, you're right there. I'm at nine years now. I'm at three stripes on my brown. Yeah, so he's I'm in no rush. So if you think Alex it makes you feel, I mean, how many stripes does he have? Like what's... he's a three stripe brown also. We're both the same. Oh shit! But yeah. what's then? What's the difference there? Just the technique, or I mean, when we're when we put the gi on and we roll, it's a great time. I love it. I love rolling with Alex. But take when it's like uh, take off the gi now, let's put some gloves on. There's a definitely, even though I feel competent in what I can do in the cage, there's definitely a gap there. Oh, okay. And he exploits every last. You know. <laughs> what would you think? Is does is it the wrestling or? Um, or is it man, I, I can tell you one thing and I think anyone else that trains knows there's days that you go in there and you have confidence like man I can touch this guy and he can't touch me and I know it and when you know it you can feel it when you feel it you can kind of do it okay and there's some days when you're like oh, I don't know if I want to go today and everyone's kind of touching you and yeah. some guys kind of have this thing that they can maybe convince themselves that that they're gonna do what they want to do every day so I, he doesn't have many many off days that makes sense doesn't yeah. let his head get into yeah. it easy. and that's what i was that was actually funny you brought that up because my initial question was after a loss how does alex walk into the gym how's he feeling is he hanging his head or is he like full of confidence because no I've, I've never seen the guy hang his head because he seems like he's a pretty like confident person he seems like, to after most fights a lot of the guys have some kind of an injury it just seems like it happens so he'll, he'll step out heal up and he get, but he never stops. Even though he's, we don't see him for a few days. Mm-hmm. He's healing, but he's also working with somebody. Okay. So he never stops working with somebody, even if it's just a nutritionist or his his yoga guy, and he's out doing mental exercises and water and rocks and and the crazy things he does and jumps in cold water up in the rivers and yeah, that's great. And does some yoga, you know, kind of. I don't. I want to call it yoga. I Russian don't know what shit, it is. huh? Yeah, yeah, some crazy Russian Khabib stuff. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the stuff he does. He goes into a whole other yeah. mental atmosphere. I definitely uh, <laughs> been fighting for a while. You see guys come and kind of go, but I think he's definitely going to be a, a stay in the UFC for quite a while. And he's still young enough. And I heard yeah. that his work ethic, I mean, like no other. So yeah, he's the one that kind of had me buy into like it's got to be a every day. Mm-hmm. He Type. can't. He can't be like uh, you know. Oh, I train two hours in the morning. I train two at night. That's good. Like no, what do you do in between? You know, there's all day, there's it's hours he, to do stuff. It's you know? he like, do, I mean, there's most everyone that go there kind of, it's he like the, the standard, right? I mean, I mean, yeah, of course, yeah. you know, you want to, you, it's good to have uh something to look for. Yeah, to, exactly. Something to strive to, you yeah. know, the guy made it to the UFC, you know, and, uh, and he's fucking beating some good yeah, fucking man. fighters too. That's the that, thing. I, that Mercier fight. I, I think that's more of who Alex really is. And if he would have done that to, you know, some other guys, I, it's tough. Mm-hmm. I can't get the guy off me. I don't. Not many people can. You know, yeah, once he gets it on your legs, when he's on you, he's on luck. you. And that kind yeah. of is like weird because you know we we watched the Dober fight, and I mean, you know, like you know how you're staying, Alex. You feel like you're on a different level, but how, I mean, fuck, Dober must have been on a different level. That, yeah, his hands about, are just something else. The thing about fighting, man, is that there's fight math doesn't work and this guy beat that guy that guy beat that guy sometimes the, you know the timing is right maybe if, if let's say me and jamie fight and he beats me but maybe if we were to fight three months later under different I, I circumstances mean, i beat him you like, know i think Emmett just broke something in his leg or something oh yeah oh look at his right leg so yeah. you're saying that it's basically oh, man. and that's what i think why us oh. as fans love the mma is because anything can happen right his le- it's his left leg uh i don't know if it's his ankle or what but he threw a kick and then he came down and he like popped it or something oh he's going for that yeah. big fucking knockout punch yeah, that's what he's gonna do what i hate yeah. those burgos fucking yeah. fights with his hands down yeah i want to know what happened but he's a big 145er look how big burgos is he's fucking huge yeah, yeah but he's not 145 in the cage I no i that. know but man that's fucking <laughs> his length is just incredible he's gotta be six, yeah. six foot maybe. fucking crazy i mean he's supposed to tee off on elliot that's what we had handy or you know we we try to handicap, but we're just, we're no professional gamblers. We just yeah. fucking, we just bet we're, you know, we have fun with it. So 
Oh yeah, you guys do good though. You have a good time with it. That's the yeah. key. Yeah, that's the thing. We're if, not you're gonna, gonna... if you're not gonna have fun with it, then it becomes work. Well, there's a lot of people, and especially what we do, it's called MMA Twitter and like yeah. uh, the gambling Twitter. We get involved in that big time. That's our fans and our you know, people that follow us and shit. And a lot of people think they're just like professional touts and they <laughs> they can call fights. And I'm like, you can't fucking cap game plans you can't cap how someone's feeling that day you right. can't cap certain who was the guy back in the day uh the greek jimmy the greek jimmy yeah. he's still around really yeah yeah what's his name i mean i know Jan, the, yanni the greek yanni does the greek. stuff is with ufc yeah, yeah he oh, still okay. does UFC. he still does ufc stuff yeah. I, i've got a question who's the coolest fighter you ever met i ever met and, or, or even just this this one that you encountered that you're like wow that was weird just to even meet that person um let's see Man, I honestly, the, I was most starstruck not by a fighter, but by Freddie Roach. When mm, I met wow, him. yeah, he's a legend. When I, I, I a met legend. Him, like I was, I was getting my hands wrapped in the same room as he, his fighter was, and then nice. I was hitting mitts in the same room as Freddie Roach was. Like that's incredible. That that was kind of like ah, uh, I can't believe I'm here right now. That's yeah. the biggest one, probably. I can re I'll remember that when I'm old for yeah. sure. Like, wow, being huh? in the same card as, as Freddie Roach. So. For me, Frank Dukes. Oh, blood, <laughs> Mr. Bloodsport. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You okay. Okay. Is, any, is there any Frank validation? Dukes. Have you y'all you seen Blood? Jean Claude. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the end, when they flash the, you know, the the stats, I'm doing the math. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, people are 600 saying 600 knockouts in yeah, three months. Are, he, like, he didn't tell me that those were all true, but he didn't say they weren't either. Dude, so, look at this guy. A lot of people say it never happened. Uh, whether it did or not, I suppose we'll never know. But when I met him, he his brain was already starting to fade, oh, and so he, he, yeah, his 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 talking wasn't good and really yeah yeah was, that's, that's I used yeah. to love those Man. were my favorite fucking movies growing up. It's his. Yeah. I know I hate it because I even saw Evander Holyfield was saying he wants to get back in the ring. No, yeah. His clips look horrible. Yeah, gone, and it's just like yeah. what are we talking please about don't. here? Yeah, like what's going on? Like BJ Penn, he got in that street fight and got yeah. he got knocked out in yeah. Hawaii. That's crazy. And it's like come on, like, there's definitely correlation with behavior and brain stuff yeah. sure for sure and not yeah. fight related but i was in a car accident a couple years back and like it was pretty i i know i was concussed and i felt like i acted different i was like grumpy for like two weeks or something like, wow. wow your brain can definitely take a, take some damage and you can act differently after yeah for sure for the sure. we we always kind of have that question you see boxers uh with all their injuries and things with the head punches i asked you once before yeah. why don't we see a lot of that in the mma you think it's uh it's different shorter. techniques and stuff or I, well i think with not as many headshots maybe or um i think a couple things one i mean um maybe a bigger surface area of a glove mm -hmm. you can maybe yeah. there's an illusion of you can take more of them but the brain is still hitting the wall of the, the you know your skull oh wow and yeah. you're like oh that wasn't so hard as to where a little glove might just hit that button and just put you to sleep putting you to yeah. sleep is actually your body saving you right from more damage right. that's you know? a good point so but, maybe the punching yeah. of the boxing glove is yeah. not Plus, quite passing that threshold but it's just over and over and, and, over and you're and looking over. three rounds versus 15. that's true you know of, of, and, and all we're aiming for mostly in boxing is what and, uh, the head yeah you know? yeah yeah you know yeah. And, and in here you're not it's yes there's headshots and they can be pretty extreme but then but you, yeah what you, are they hitting right now they're mostly go. hitting the body Jesus. and you have a lot of fights shit. this is fucking what those are some of. heavy I guess he blocked them, but that was so yeah. So for everyone tuning in right now, you're listening to Talking Hands. We're playing our game, flip that cash. We've loaded up the account with the five hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't even know who won that round. Honestly. We decided to keep. Oh, I think Burgos had that easily. Um, we decided to keep it short and sweet. We're gonna just fucking save all our money. We put it all on Shane Burgos, so we got six fifty to win. What three ninety right now? Yeah, and then uh, the thing? what's his face? Uh, Blaze. Yeah, Blaze. And then we're going to roll. If we win this, we're going to roll every dime over to Curtis Blades. Nice. <laughs> oh, and what's, that, what's that pay up? Well, if, see, if that's, it all works out. That's the thing is he is uh, heavy, so he's minus. You got to lay 400 to win 100. Okay. So we're not going to do that. So we're going to lay minus 175. So. Uh, he, he would he has to get a finish TKO. KO, KO or TKO, so like ground and pound inside finish. the five rounds. Yeah, okay. Which is what I think he's going to do. He, or, five, he has five rounds to do it. Yeah. So. Oh, that's a good... But even with that, like, remember how like Chuck Liddell, how they kind of pulled them, like, as I think Dan White pulls them before they get two. 
loopy. Hopefully, you know. Hope so, man. See here, that's what oh, I was talking about is, right yeah. there. I didn't know what that was, so I don't know if that's an injury or what. Yeah, with the know, way, chat, did Clay Guida fight tonight? Yeah, he lost, yeah, he lost, but he, he's he's up there uh, in age too. Yeah, yeah. I we I met Clay Guida at a WEC event in Vegas like twelve years ago. I met him one time too. He was a cool dude. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. And then I was behind Forrest Griffin. I was like, Forrest Griffin isn't as big as I you. It looks like on TV, like he's a big guy, but uh, for six one two ten, yeah. or you know, they look a lot bigger in the cage. I, I was I just say. thinking, we we should probably move that light. Is that in your way? That in either y'all's way? Okay, no, I thought it was like blocking the TV here. Yeah, so so would you say ju- you would think jujitsu is a better base than wrestling right now? You'd think, or um, oh shit. It's oof. he's getting Uh-oh. fucking punched yeah. hard, dude. I don't think he can move too well right now. No, but Burgos um, took some heavy shots, man. I wouldn't say that it's better. I, I think everyone has to train jujitsu if you want to be an MMA fighter. Yeah, but uh, you're definitely seeing some of these wrestlers coming in, you know, from collegiate uh, backgrounds that are maybe they're used to cutting the weight. They're used to the hard practices. Maybe the practice is even easier than what they're used to. Right, they're, right. Me- they're pretty mentally tough. And they usually develop a pretty good overhand right, you know, because they're used to changing. The yeah, level. yeah, like how Khabib not kind yeah, of down. You know, yeah, just change the level and fling it. Yep. So, um, I, I, from recently the the wrestlers I think have have. Uh, I wish I would have wrestled at a young age. Let's say yeah, that. that's what. Like I, I mean, I've watched UFC forever, but it was just never something I wanted to really seriously get into, just because. Yeah. I mean, they're eating. You know, you eat so many shots. I, I always thought that it, it, a wrestler coming into MMA would be more beneficial. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're used to putting hands on people. You you don't flinch when something comes at you fast. You cut the weight. Your coach yells at you and calls you dumb all day. You know, they're kind of tough, tough guys, you know. It seems like if you had that in your back pocket, it'd be easier to focus on boxing and jiu-jitsu. I think it, it'll come down to, oh, man, he just went for the finish. If you can, if you have that background and you're then after that, you're you're then coachable. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, I'm down to be a beginner at jujitsu, and I'm down to be a beginner at this. Those are the guys that are like pretty. We think so. Yeah, nasty. some people have such the ego that they don't want to give up their whatever black belt to go into a white belt. Really? And I think that's where they lose it. And mm-hmm. uh, that's for me, it was it was a no brainer. I w- I was like, I'll just hang this sucker on the wall. I did it. And go ahead and give me that nice, fresh, clean white belt. Let's start this over again. I mean, Jamie, you got the full package. You're fucking <laughs> jiu-jitsu champion and a third-degree black belt taekwondo. Yeah, I was the uh, what else Air you got? Force flyweight champion in uh, in uh, taekwondo, fought in the nationals. Uh, worst tournament I ever fought in was Vegas with the low ceiling, kind of like the ceiling in here. What's this, about eight, seven feet? Oh, shit. And uh, I had pneumonia and three broken ribs. Mm. Oh, wow. and it was not fun Jeez. that was it, i had to really battle through i didn't win and i just couldn't breathe and yeah it was tough but uh but i went i showed up i made weight and i did my job and right. you know some people wouldn't have even showed up they would have said no i'm hurt and i'm sick i can't go yeah you Dude, know? and this is kind of just how i've always been oh jacob just yeah keep, keep showing up and keep going you yeah. know what? always the, there he's yeah. chewing at those legs how how bad does it feel on your legs those when you're suck. making those check kicks like the, uh, those leg kicks like that calf hurt. kicks and stuff? Man, they hurt bad. Whatever whatever he's feeling now, it's gonna be exponential in about an, an hour and every hour yeah. after that. Does it hurt more to receive it or to give it? Because I think they both fucking hurt equally. So if you land it nice on some soft yeah. tissue, you're not gonna feel nothing, you know. Okay. Especially the, the shins are pretty conditioned, but a good. A good check, like let's say he throws a leg kick and he points his knee to it, to call mm-hmm. it, and you hit like that circle of the, the top of the knee. That's gonna hurt you pretty bad. Man, it'll slow wow. your kicking game down. But Jesus Christ, I'm. But it's not fun at all. I'm shocked more fighters don't do it, but I guess that makes sense why, because it's not fun at all. No one. Well, wants to... a lot of fighters have been uh, doing that a calf kick now. It's a lot less. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot yeah. less risk of hitting the knee. Kind of lower. And it hurts. Yeah. And it, and you know that's the thinnest part of, of the structure. You can chop that down. You know. True. It's been working a lot. A lot yeah. of a lot of stand up kicking kicking fighters, Thai fighters, taekwondo fighters, karate fighters. Later in age, they get a lot of shin splints and they have to have surgery for Ooh, it. They're throwing. Wow. Yeah, they're hitting hard, man. Yeah, Burgos is fucking he, taking I mean, too he, many shots. Yeah, but he's eating. He's eating them. But he, to me, I feel like he's outboxing the dude. But 
it, it's a very tough close fight. It's a tough, tight close fight. I mean, Elliot's winging these big shots that he's fucking missing a lot on, too, though. Yeah, we'll... S- but Elliot's only option ever is to get a knockout. I mean, I don't know why you're at Team Alpha Male and you won't fucking wrestle ever. That's yeah. crazy that <laughs> fighters don't... That's what I'm saying. Like, when you have that in your back pocket as a fighter, would you not automatically just go into that mode and fucking try to wrestle? Yeah, it's, a, it's a good... It's a good uh something to have up your sleeve i got a question for jacob what's up man uh out of all the arts that you, you do obviously you mix them up a little bit what's your favorite win my favorite win yeah and it doesn't even have to be for like a gold top podium it just has to be your favorite win um probably my my first ever tournament as a white belt in jiu-jitsu yeah you know that's that first i think it was like a, a woodlawn park or gym or something mm. some small spot but right. you're like oh i did it when you start when you start jujitsu, it's just like you getting thrown in the deep end of the pool. Even and even when everyone's nice to you, you still can't swim yet. That's the yeah. fact of it. You know, even when people are helping you, the second that they stop helping you, you sink. You know, so that first win, I'm like, well, I actually beat somebody, I actually choked somebody out. Maybe I can do this. It was that was pretty cool. Yeah, that yeah, was, that's pretty awesome. Man, it's I bet it's it, amazing that some of the small ones are your best ones. Yeah, small ones. And that's how mine was. Though. I bet it feels awesome yeah. just to chuck someone out. Dude, it's great. <laughs> because I always I tell the beginner students at the gym, like, like from my own experience, I sucked at jujitsu until I didn't suck anymore. Like you just you yeah. just you gotta go in and lose and lose and, and lose, lose and lose, lose and then oh I didn't lose today. Oh hey, I made it out 50 50. I tapped Jamie one time, but he yeah. tapped me too. I'll take that. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take those numbers, you know? And it's and, not like something where it just like clicks and you're like, oh, I figured this out. You have to really fucking figure it out. Yeah. Right? Get thrown to the yeah. wolves. And, and we experience. do we do that on the mat is somebody that you've never tapped on the mat that maybe is a higher, higher, higher rank, maybe same belt, but they've oh. been there longer. And you tap them one day and you're like, wow, I never tapped them before. And, and it's just kind of cool. I bet this fight's going crazy, dude. This is nuts. I'm oh, oh what was that? What was that? Burgos. Yeah, this sucks. Ground. I think he's got think it two one. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's up two. If he can freaking get up, it didn't look like that was that big of a blow though. Yeah, no, it, it so. kind of looked like he was kind of buckled. Yeah, for some bit, reason. Yeah, yeah. just had a drop. He recovered yeah. quick. I'm wondering what cage size they're going to use at Fight Island. I hope this, because this has been exciting, man. Yeah, there's just not too much running around. It's like a fast twitch uh, cage, right? Yeah. You, you got your guy, you're elongated, and you can take your time and leave, they, keep space. These guys got to stay tight. Dana White says it's an illusion, but I don't buy that shit. I think no, it really helps. Yeah. There's a there's somewhat of a difference. Crazy. These fights have been a lot better than I thought, because you look at the card, and some of these fights, like you said, they're regional guys that – first timers and yeah. you're like who the fuck's this i can't even find a youtube video of them and uh it comes out and it turns out it's a good fucking fight you know yeah yeah there's, there's fighters uh, out there grind shot those yeah hurt. i mean burgo should really go back to those leg kicks i don't know yeah he needs to go to the leg kicks and he needs to fucking because i'm telling you something's wrong with emmett's left uh lead, leg. Lead leg yeah, yeah. something's up with it yeah boom oh, well like they just said where? though throwing those kicks is got to be brutal it hurts constantly. back when i first started the the taekwondo game i was in korea i was stationed there and first i started on base because you know i felt like that was the place to go right and that lasted about a week and i found a place down in a valley somewhere it was on a second story all the windows were broken out from sparring and in the winter it's all snowed on so the the mat's frozen so you you, you walk <laughs> you, on the mat, your feet your feet get numb. Sounds like hell. <laughs> you, had was, to, you had to walk 15 miles there, 15 miles. I home. rode my skateboard. I was a little skateboard. You, you get rat, right? you get frost, like frostbite on the mat. It they was, spray you it's with the water. old story, you know, up, uphill both ways. And, uphill both ways. Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was just an old little shithole, and and the guys were good in there, and the training was good. And when I left that place, man, my legs were like rocks. Yeah, they were so thick for a little guy. You know, I still weighed 110 pounds when I was active duty, but I'll tell it you was what, it man. was crazy. Some guys can kick out there. Yeah, it was it was crazy how fast they were, and I came out just as Bam. fast. Oh, oh, that yeah, hurt. Yep, that, that was, was nice. a fucking shot, but he got clipped. Dude, oh, that was a good one too. One. And boom. Yeah, I'm see, but shit like that, I don't feel like these judges fucking pay attention. Yeah, I'm to. seeing like, a lot of 
one ones they're saying online mm. and a cut yeah one 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 saying. one so far yeah. wow so basically whoever wins the rest of this round yeah is. yeah this is good this is it then they both know it and uh emmett has has a knockdown this hopefully round. they didn't take yeah. away a point for kicking him in the nuts no. No, no 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 not the first time okay bam no. Come on, dude. It usually takes like three, or the second one is just obvious. God, he can't Whoa. take these overhand rights oh, anymore, dude. Right behind the ear, that one was. Yeah, he's not kicking anymore. He is taking the yeah. shots, though. The, the I'm very kicking surprised. and even a few body shots would be beautiful. Oh, what do you know? He's got, he keeps his 100% knockdown rate. Yep. Fucking crazy, man. Every hmm. fight. Every fight. He has knocked down every opponent. At, whether he wins or loses, he knocks him down. He might be the hardest hitting 145er in the league. Crazy that way. Have y'all guys ever hit one of those punching uh, machines you see like around town? Yeah. And whatnot? Yep. Oh, yeah. down again. Second I, one. I think this the most is, I've ever done right was here. like a. I think the most I ever got on that was like an eight twenty or some shit. Yeah, I realize I don't punch that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I just stick to jujitsu. <laughs> those things are crazy though. Yeah, you think uh, that you're slamming the hell out of it, and it's like barely six hundred. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, but I'm a pro fighter. This shit's rigged. You're supposed to, you're supposed to hit it, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? I got a bad shoulder, guys. Right? Yeah. I was just drunk one night. <laughs> I seen some dude actually punch one of those, and it was didn't it, like all the padding had gone down. Mm-hmm. He punched it, and the metal bar split his fucking hand oh, open. Dude. Oh, because there was like no padding left oh. in the thing. Dude, that's that was brutal. nasty. That was down at the coast at uh, old Barkard Shark Sharkies. That's crazy. Ugh. Don't go to Sharkies. Yeah. No, they're closed actually. If I can close down, I just spent some time down by the coast last weekend. We're at Port A, Port uh, Angeles. We stayed in Rockport. Did Rockport some, did some fishing. Then love we, Rockport. Then we drove over to Port A one nice. day just yeah. to get some beach time. Yeah, the yeah. beach time. I love the fishing on Rockport. That's my. Yeah. You know, it's kind of quiet and away yeah. from everybody. We're going Padre Island next weekend just to hang. We're trying to go down there next week too. Yeah, I'm hoping there's a couple waves before I get my knee replacement. I'm hoping I can catch a couple waves. Maybe I can get Cash and Caleb together and fucking. That'd be cool. Just take, message me. They got a good basketball he, court we right there. Have, and... We were supposed to have kids go, and now there's no kids going. So oh, okay, if, if you're there, just Pick message them. me. They have a great basketball court right on the beach. Oh, for it's real, right on and, the ocean. And I think we're up on the. I don't know if you call it north or east end. Get them. It went to a pick. Get them. God dang it! Come on, guy. Yeah, I. I... <laughs> I think um, it's see Emmett's winging though the whole fucking yeah. thing, and I feel like Burgess got the first two easy. I mean, he's fucking throwing these heavy blows and he's missing half of them. It just looks. See, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh he is hard. I mean, Burgos <laughs> to take these shots is nuts for him to yeah, take them. Yeah, that's pretty so impressive. Most would be asleep already. But why is he still fighting with his hands down? What I want to know. Uh, habits. I mean, yeah, it's habits. just yeah. habits style. That's why I was telling somebody the other day. I have a hard time betting 5K oh. on a fire that keeps his hands down. And sure enough, yeah, because he was, yeah, he did this against Mach on his last fight too. But that guy couldn't like couldn't shut the lights. Yeah, off. like he didn't respect it's his over. power. Yeah, like he's mocking him now. I think we know who won now. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Burgos kind of stopped the leg kicks, and yeah. it, it's like you said, Emmett's going to be no, walking with a limp for weeks probably yes. with his Look leg. How the finish went. That's good. Shit. I actually think I might have lost every fucking bet tonight, man. Fuck. <laughs> I won one bet last, my last bet. I've pretty much busted this whole night. Yeah, th- this one, this one I'm shocked because I thought Burgos would get move in and out more. He kind of just stood so and traded. Was, uh, this was the night of the underdog on this uh, card? Pretty much so far. Well, there weren't many underdogs, really. Uh, uh, they're really close, like pick them by. So the first fight, Austin Hubbard, Hubbard he was yeah. plus 160. He was wow. against this kid, Max Roshka, 5-0. Gets the call a week ago, comes in, he gets bet up to minus 200. Wrestler, after the first round, he's pretty much done. Corner comes in, his coach says, you're still fucking fighting. He goes, I'm done. I don't want to fight. His coach said, you're fighting. Get out there. You're fighting. And it was a pretty big argument. Then the ref came over and said, son, do you want to fight? He goes, no, I'm done. And they called the fight oh. but i think that's bad coach is that worst coach is that worst coach ever my thing is why would you let your fucking fighter debut in the ufc when you know he doesn't have he's not yeah he, he wasn't ready for the fight like, like his gas tank was empty like wouldn't you want your I fighter think, to have the best opportunity to i think uh maybe maybe they offered him a sweet deal, sweet deal like a last yeah. second you it's know, probably 12 and 12 12 I think to show 12 more, to win. more of the money maybe guarantees for a second or third fight you know maybe sign you to two fights or three okay. fights. oh yeah 
that'll yeah, that'll make the that'll, that'll make yeah. me get yeah someone to get going. you yeah I mean that makes sense but just, I don't think you ever if a fighter says he's done that's got to be it man you can't yeah you can't you can't you're not the one fighting going. it yeah. yeah yeah I mean he was eating shots no, that man, and like it was it looked bad it was like the uh, Anthony Smith fight where he that one was where he took his teeth out, out. yeah isn't and, he fighting soon again yeah he's fighting in August yeah he just got a fight like he just took a beating. Well, y'all are going to witness uh, our losing streak here because we've had two bad weeks in a row. I mean, we'll see. Maybe we can get a split. Look at I think they're saying split decision. If the judge ever fucking would go our way, it'd be the night Ohana's in here. There you go. It'll be the good luck. It'll be the good luck charm. Let's hope we're it. Yeah, because I don't uh, know. Damn it. Oh, oh, yeah. no. 29, 27, 29, Yeah, 28. brutal. Uh, I think it was the third round. Jesus, that third round man. did it. Uh, he, he ate those knockdowns. Yeah, he ate those knockdowns. Yeah, that was but it. He just couldn't go in and out enough. So Good job, Tough. Burgos. Yeah. But, Way uh, to stick to the game plan, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. UFC going to Fight Island, I guess they're anticipating extended no fans. Right. Yeah. Right. They just might as yep. well plan for it at this point. That's yeah. what I've heard. Um, I heard there's what you said, a lot of Russian fighters on looking like there's going to be a yeah, lot of Russian Yeah, a lot fighters. of more those type of fighters. I'm like, I'm they're going to bring, bring oh, they, so can, they can, they can make it there. there. Yeah, yeah, uh, nice and easy. Where is it? It's in the Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Yeah, Abu Dhabi. Yeah, Abu right Dhabi. there. Yeah, yeah, pretty close. So it's not a real island. It's Abu Dhabi Island. Yeah, right. It, it's where they fought uh, Khabib's last fight. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of infrastructure there already. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a fucking theme park. I thought. I yeah, saw. I thought they were doing like a like Mortal Kombat style. Like, yeah, that's what I thought. Like a know, cage on an island and yeah, shit. That'd be yeah. dope. They used to. <laughs> that's Bo, like our Bo Dog did that. Like our yeah. Bo, Bo yeah. Dog. Yeah. Bo Dog was paying oh, fighters. Cool. I got a Back bunch of the... T-shirts for you. I'll yeah. tell you right, what, yeah. man. If Bo Dog was still around, things would be different. Really. You know? Yeah, I remember the, them, the yeah. crack on gambling kind of killed them, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. crack yeah. on gambling. Yeah, but they were they were the first ones sending doing million dollar contract. They still have uh, the Bud Dog Casino, don't they? Yeah, I think the sports book. They had some. They have a Bud Dog sports book. They, they, they do. had some big yeah. fighters fight. Well, that's Bodog what happened. He got there, kicked right? inside his knee. Yeah, Eddie Alvarez fought there. Yeah. Uh, I know Fedor has fought there once or mm-hmm. twice. Uh, yeah. But yeah, they had a lot. Like then you, I mean, before you had Pride, Strike right, Force, right. like a lot of. They were paying good back then. Yeah. Man. Well, it's not it. Like, the it's UFC is getting better. I remember when the UFC was paying $2,000 to fight yeah. and then 2000 to win. That's how when Nick Diaz got his first fight. This like, is a classic. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's a joke. Like, that's, that's a joke. That, that's me. Bellator. Uh, less than Bellator. Money. Yeah, because even Bellator, you'll, they'll take local guys, right? Mm-hmm. Like, from Oklahoma. Yeah, and they'll, like, they'll, they'll pay them, you know, three, you know, two and two, three and three, yeah. four and four or something, you know? Yeah. Well, this is a classic example of why y'all should stick with your day job and not uh, gamble. On the- <laughs> yeah, we don't gamble. But his, I learned the hard way. He looks gambling. like a RoboCop. Six hundred and fifty dollars down the drain. Yeah. By the you know left in the judge's hands. That's what I can't stand the most. So you're gonna play as if it got rolled over and cheer for Blades? Uh, yeah. We'll I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll be but... funny if Volkov knocks him out. Then it's like, well, <laughs> no, this was yeah. pointless. <laughs> Either way, I've yeah. got a personal account. I might throw Blades still in, but as far as our <laughs> segment flipped us cash, sorry guys, we fucking we didn't flip shit this week. <laughs> well, I mean, the good thing with both these guys is they should get that 50k bonus. Yeah, that should be fight of the night. That yeah, was a good fight. That, that was, was a good that fight. Was a good that was a good fight. fight. Yeah, solid. It's just, man, the, it's getting tougher in the UFC because either the lines are so far apart to where you have these heavy, heavy favorites. You can't even bet them. Or are they too close of a fight? So it's almost like flipping a coin and picking. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's really tough to bet nowadays. I'll, I'll stick and, to poker. And Yeah, no, exactly. And what? in fact, I think if you just bet the fucking dog all the time, you'll end up winning in the long run. Really? Yeah. I mean, tonight the dog's fucking eating, cleaning house. You'd yeah. be up big time right now if you're just betting dogs. Yeah, Maybe. for sure. I mean, you got Miller, uh, Hubbard, Hubbard, Miller. Those are all plus money. And then Tisha Emmett, Torres. Emmett, Tisha Torres was huge. Dude, you'd be up yeah. fucking a fortune just betting dogs tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And Emmett, a lot of. A lot of money came in on uh, Burgos. So and then, can I, can I say happy birthday to my wife? It's her birthday yeah. tomorrow. Oh, hey, happy so, birthday yeah, on Father's Felicia, Day. Felicia, huh? Felicia Smith. She's, she does grappling, too. She's jiu She's, she's, a, she's yeah. a blue belt. She's a high level, she too. She just lost 65 pounds or so. Yeah, no, I saw her at the so birthday party. She looked yeah. really good. Yeah, she's about ready to throw me out and trade me in for a youngster. Oh, yeah. shit. Get out of here, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be thinking that way. It might happen. <laughs> We'll have a home for you here, Jamie. You right. can sleep on the couch. There right you there. go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
I'm sure Ohana didn't have any problems. So uh, Josh Emmett right. tore his ACL in the first round. That's oh, what they man. said. And that's I the way his leg buckled, I yeah. figured something happened. Like dude, if that I mean, how do you even move with your fucking torn ACL? That's insane. I can tell you. It's adrenaline, huh? <laughs> Adrenaline's running, pumping. I mean, winging those big ass shots yep. like that, you gotta feel like it's yeah. He's he should have just kept kicking that leg. Yeah. Like that. I mean, again, we've talked it like sideline, right? Like thing, the sideline thing. The arm but, chair, arm yeah, chair. but like I, I saw it right away. You think yeah, I would think the it. coaches saw that too in between rounds? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying with these game plans. Like you would think a corner would be like kick the leg, I kick the leg, kick the leg. Injury hurts. I got my MCL torn off, and and it was completely torn off. And I'll tell you what, that was some pain. Was it? I, I couldn't have kept doing what he was doing. I, I was down him for the count, and it immediately turned into a grapefruit. So that's crazy. Jeez, man. I mean, the guy's fucking. Yeah, that huge. happened He's 20 ripped, seconds bro. into the fight. Mm. His leg buckled. Wow. I was like, he he hurt something. And I guess in that interview, he said he tore his ACL. Oh, but, he, you know, maybe he didn't. He's just saying yeah. that. He'll so go get an MRI. Don't know. Yeah. Either way, I mean, he fucking obviously so hurt, hurt his leg pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah. So just keep it going. It was noticeable. So. For a first time uh, visitor or, you know, someone that's interested in getting into MMA, what what's the best way to go about it? Do they just walk on in Ohana or do they reach yeah, out to the website? You or? could, uh, you know, call the academy. Phone numbers are posted. Mm -hmm. You can always come by and visit. We have a lot of uh, safety protocols in order. You know, we get yeah. you sanitized up, come in and check the place out, try mm -hmm. to class out and whatnot. Um, it's really good to just come in and just get on the mat in any way shape or form you know try a beginner jiu-jitsu class you know see how you like the environment see how you like the feel of things and just kind of go from there and, and it's not just kids I'm, there's people you know all yeah just all like you guys i mean you just you just there's regular guys just coming in and then they're loving it we i got, was shocked with the amount of uh women there's tons oh of, we got tons of women in tons America. of women at headquarters i know a few of them um like you know that come into the bar i've mm -hmm. and they know you they're yeah. friends with you i've seen them yeah. and they're i mean i've there's one girl named D. Uh, I'd have to look at her. With the mohawk? Yeah, with yeah. the mohawk. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy the amount of women that's yeah. getting into the sport. It's awesome because yep. they're they're just as exciting. You know, they can be just as exciting. I'll tell you what. I've been choked out by a girl that probably, I don't even know if she's 100 pounds. She's not with us anymore, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. And she had the meanest Ezekiel choke. And I don't know. You guys don't probably know what that is, but. But if you do, it's uh, it's a mean choke if you're good at it. And she was good at it. She'd get it from the top, she'd get it from the bottom, and I'd tap every time. And I could never stop her. It was it was crazy how good at that choke she was. And, so, and you talk about all the different submissions. Mm -hmm. You don't have to know all the submissions. You have to be good at a few. You know, you have to know how to defend them all, but you don't have to know how to do them all. Okay. If you got some really good ones that you're really good at, they're not going to stop it. Hmm. So, yeah, because so, uh, like Ryan Hall, he always does those leg locks, correct, yeah. and like he, he'll just like roll, get a leg, and try to like rip it off. Yeah, yeah. that's his thing. Yeah. Do y'all guys watch a lot of UFC? Obviously, or y'all watch fights all the time. I mean, we watch. I watch most of the big ones, but usually it's it's tough to do because they got the kiddos and then or, you yeah. know everybody works and and that. Well, I don't work, but I guess I do work. I'm Mr. Mom, so I work, I would get up at six, get mom to work, get kids to school do my thing and, and, and then at night you're, it starts all true over Mr. Mom. yeah 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 <laughs> so i work from 6 to 10 p.m <laughs> i thought um so for everyone listening is there anything like can they go try out for a week uh, the gym is there like a free week or three so, days so the way, here's the way or? it works you you sign up uh you get a, let's just talk headquarters for just a minute Depends, okay. if you live somewhere outside our region Go to one of our other locations, but just an example. Which is 281 uh, in Brook Hollow. Right. We've got a few managers right. at the place. We got Professor Gabe Renega, Renega. we got uh, Coach Jason Diaz, and we have Leander Poole, which is kind of the manager of the headquarters uh, building. You set up an appointment with them, and they bring you in to try out some classes. Uh, what you work out with them sometimes can be different depending on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But usually you'll see somebody like Coach jacob or uh or professor jason's even teaching the beginner white belt class right now uh so it just depends on who you're gonna see you may wear a gi you may not wear a gi right now we're not giving out loaner gis for safety protocol okay so you'll train with whatever clothes you come in with which is fine we can make it work mm -hmm. uh so anyway you do this and whatever arrangement you work out you see if you like it if you like it 
you got the option to sign up for whatever period of time the, the system's going for. I think we're doing, you know, if you're a beginner, then you sign up for a certain amount of time. Once you get past the beginner stage and you say, hey, you know what? You're doing really good. You want to go to the next level. We'd like you to go to the next level. And then you start signing up for what you would call regular classes. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So let's say I want to sign up just to come in and train for boxing. I can do that. Yeah, you just reach out to one of the managers and they'll kind of tailor make your kind of visit. So what you want to, to do. You. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some people are interested in the kickboxing. Yeah. Some we, people, we still have all of the uh, weights and strength conditioning equipment that was there at mm -hmm. the UFC gym. So we have a fully stocked gym. Damn. Also. So we actually have a lot of clients that kind of rolled over that just use the gym as a workout. Workout facility. place. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, pretty cool. Just push work, the sled. The machines. Yeah, yeah, that's the awesome. Machines. They got, you know, sprint, and, you got a and, turf to run some yeah, sprints. And it's crazy is, is every, almost every instructor in the, in the black belt region is, has been world champion. Not to mention our Muay Thai instructors are very high level and like Washington Thai was the first Brazilian uh, world champion Muay Thai. You know, that's high level. I'm not talking high level. World, <laughs> when you put world in front of anything. I'm yeah, talking, yeah. Uh, so we God. have some, we have some phenomenal instructors at our place. And wow. It's, it's crazy. And that's why we go dominate these tournament, tournaments the way we do. It's, it's, it's just because the training is there. So we, we don't over, uh, we don't under and we don't over promote our belt systems. Uh -huh. When you're ready and you're at the right level, you get the belt, you get the stripe, you get whatever you get. And so you never go into a match. I would say underqualified or overqualified. You, you kind of match the, the the weight and the experience level that you're going into most of the time. You know, sometimes there's just phenoms out there, and we have a couple kids that are phenoms that are just crazy good. Uh, but uh, that's what I mostly think. Mostly, it's just it's just done right, if I can say that. Yeah, just the way y'all run yeah. the operation. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I think intrigues a lot of people too. It's like, I was just, I was telling you, some guy was telling me about a, the jujitsu school he went to and they didn't even have any standards or like the stripe system or anything. It's yeah. just kind of like, Oh, you're this, you're that, you're this, that. like, man, that doesn't sound fucking right. No, I was yeah. talking to Jamie about the stripe system. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's just weird, but there's some structure to it. Yeah. yeah, there's yeah. Sure, some yeah. really good structure. Matter of fact, on the 25th is what we call our rank day. Well, not everybody's getting ranked. Like, like I said, other schools, everybody's going to get ranked. Not everybody's going to get it. Some people are going to get belts. Some people are going to get stripes. Some people aren't going to get anything because they're just not ready yet. And it's okay. And, and we say, hey, you know what? It doesn't change who you are. We're just waiting for you to get to that next level of experience. And, and that's fine. Like I would expect, you know, some of us that uh, like myself, I just got my purple belt, right? Well, I shouldn't go in there ego thinking I'm going to get my brown belt. Mm -hmm. It's not even been a year yet. How can you expect it? But out there there are people that go in going it's rank day i'm getting ranked and if i don't i'm gonna be mad so you're a purple belt purple belt and, and so so jacob you're a brown belt correct wow yeah and i got two stripes on my purple belt so he's a higher level than you oh much higher yeah holy yeah. shit I can't, I can't touch him he lets me play a little bit and then he <laughs> kills me wow <laughs> i'm nice <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty impressive man that's the kind of shit that scares like an average person like we talk about all the time. We would hate to be in a bar fight and we just run into someone like hey, y'all that have the jujitsu in the back pocket and just uh, <laughs> makes us look like complete idiots. <laughs> just look out for the cauliflower. Yeah, it's yeah, the ears. Here. It's yeah. the ears. I don't have mine heavy. Mine came in, but then it went away because I had all this time off from surgeries. What is that? Is that because I always thought that was more of a wrestling thing? Is that just rolling on the mat with people? Yeah, rolling. Like friction? Tra and... Trauma to the ear, basically. Yeah. Okay. So, whether it's getting hit or. The mat rubbing on it. Or you get a is lot. Like, of, you get a lot of knees to the face. Do you? Yeah, it's 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 amazing. I lost this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've had more knees to the face and and getting kicked in the face than I ever did in Taekwondo. Wow. It's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. I had a lot of broken ribs in Taekwondo, but never, hardly ever did I get hit in the face. There's like a weird thing about that because I've <laughs> met a lot of Taekwondo people that claim they've had like every bone break in their body. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fucking. It's brutal. That's why <laughs> those guys learn how to there kick. Some... They kick hard. Not it's, it's different now, and I don't want to put any schools down at all, so I'm not going to name any. Uh, but Taekwondo world has changed, and you can if you go go look at it online, people talk it really bad, and it's because it's become Olympic Olympified. So it's, it's, like it's all point system. Points, yeah. It's kicked a certain spot on the pad that beeps, and it gives you a point. And it's like playing dart, electronic darts, right? So it used to be in my old school, 
we go to Mexico and pick fights to test our skills. <laughs> so, Sounds like a horrible <laughs> idea. Yeah, but, but we, we, you, you know, eat a knife to the stomach. You wanna? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But you Jamie do, killed a man. Yeah, yeah. I know. Right. <laughs> you don't do that anymore. I mean, you used to go for the head. I saw so many knockouts, and you just don't see that anymore. You see the point score. Point. They stand both facing each other. One's Look at that. You know, one's left foot forward, one's right foot forward. Curtis and, Blades and got bet up to three hundred already. already? Holy yeah, it was man. minus 175, dude. God yeah, damn. People love blades. People love I mean, uh, there goes that fucking shit. Fuck. <laughs> well, blades <laughs> can beat everyone except uh, Francis. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Knocked him out twice. Yeah. But also, this guy, Volkov, has beat everybody. Yeah, Volkov's good. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a good, he's did, a good did, range did he striker. Lose to some- uh, he got knocked out by Derek Lewis, but he, he, was, he, he was beating him he was pretty bad. That one, right? yeah, the, yeah. He beat his ass the whole time, pretty yeah. much. Okay. Derek Lewis, man, God. Well, that's some encouraging news. The uh, Nevada State Athletic Commission is going to look into what happened in that fight with the corner, and they might suspend the cornerman. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Yeah, the coaches. There's wow. so. Cornermen can be suspended. They can be, uh, you know, for just, punished for also. For the bad decisions. Yeah. because for, for numerous things, yeah, you know? When you watch the fight, like yeah. I think everyone was he saying, was "What done, are you right? doing? What like you, you got to stop yeah. this!" Yeah. yeah. Did they send him out again? Though? So I heard, I thought... so the round ended, and then he goes, uh, "You're going out there. You're fighting." Mm-hmm. And then the kid's like, "No, I'm done. Like I don't yeah. want this." And the ref goes, "Here, I'm going to talk to him." He goes, "Son, do you want to fight?" He goes, "No, I'm done. Call it." Then they stop the fight. And I bet you at that point we didn't see it, but I bet you the coach was arguing about it. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, they they probably cut away because yeah. it it was bad. He was getting lit up yeah. bad. In yeah, because I watched it. The coach was saying, "You're a fucking wrestler. Yeah, you're, you're, a, you're a champion. champion. You're, you're a champion. champion. But when you're done, you're done. Yeah. yeah, he he kept saying, "I'm done. I'm done." Like, I guess there's a difference though. If he was encouraged, trying to encourage him, get him pumped up, maybe. I mean, who, who knows? But yeah. The one person who's supposed to know you the best is your coach. You right. Know? Yeah, exactly. And that didn't sound like the case because the know. dude fucking straight up said, like, I'm done. Yeah, because yeah, we've seen it in boxing where if the, the guys don't take their fighter out the next day, they're in a coma. They die right. that week. Yeah, like, man. It's, it's bad. Just, it's crazy. You're, what, not, you're not the one in there. What's yeah. crazy is if you give that kid a full camp, I think he goes out and beats over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that. yeah, that's what they were saying. They were saying uh, he suffered from fatigue, short notice, weight cut. He cut 25 pounds oh, in man. seven Jesus. days. In a week. I think these first couple of cards, there's going to be multiple fights that could have swung the other way with full camps. But I think maybe the whole, the, the new normal, maybe fighters are now getting prepared. So maybe moving forward, Fight Island or whatnot, you'll see yeah. more prepared fighters. People are going to be Hopefully, training. Yeah, twenty five pounds in seven days. I think everybody yeah. thought it was Jesus. done, you know, I mean, for a while. Training yeah. training a month ago was a lot harder than training yeah. now, so maybe it's a little easier. Oh yeah, imagine. Days. How do you cut that much weight in seven days? Oh, Jesus, I can. How many pounds in seven? Twenty twenty five is what the, the he the coach seven said. Days. Yeah, a week. So you want to be maybe ten out. Yeah, That's I what mean, they're aiming for yeah, because he caught the fight call like ten days ago, I think. So then they must have just been. Hammering and who knows him, how know. much training he was doing right yeah he been hanging out yeah know. tough that's tough yeah wow but like like jacob said there was probably a bigger picture than this fight mm-hmm. there was probably hey take this one do what you can i'm gonna get you back in we're there. gonna get yeah. Yeah. yeah and then we'll go train and we'll get ready for the next because all his results previous to this were first round rear naked choke he would get the guy down choke. wrestle him get his back choke him out in like two minutes this fight went to the second round he was yeah. gassed you just eating shot after shot. Main event. Here we go. So we got a little money here on uh, okay, the TKO got? after all. All right. <laughs> Blades inside five rounds by TKO or, you know, KO, TKO, either one. Uh, Curtis Blades came out to the Mortal Kombat theme song. So what we Blades. need is Blades to get his ass on the ground and throw those elbows. Ground and pound. That's something that we talk about all the time, too, as fans we watch, you know, from because we've been watching since the glory days, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, you don't see the ground and pound as much as you used to back in the old days. I mean, you oh. used to see people shoot, get you on the ground and throw the hell out of your, your elbows. Sure, and sure stuff. What I said you think people, uh, wow, that's cool. I <laughs> think the defense maybe is getting better. I think so. The, the guard and every like the wrestling defense in general, maybe I, we were thinking, cause what Jamie had told me a while ago is he thinks that it might be the point fighting too. If people are coming out trying to fight for points instead of, smashing people but maybe you know i don't know 
I don't know. I think it's, every gym's got a couple of crazy wrestlers, maybe to yeah. get everyone's shot defense a little up, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So uh, you talk about rain coming up. She's going to be. I'm going to bring her in here. She's going to be a. She's be- going to be a hoot. I got two people I want to yeah. bring in here. She'll be One's in Marcel UFC. Mickens really? and then Rain. She's that good, huh? Yeah. She will be in the UFC. We, I saw the one fight you told me about. Yeah. And then, oh, you did watch uh, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that was it. That's a, but she looked fucking dominant. That was her professional debut. And that, that was like a main event. Like yeah. On- is she like really what does she specialize in at the gym is she like a destroying people (laughs) just being tough Tough. Tough. beating guys up okay i can't beat her grappling she gets me just fucking crazy yeah that's unbelievable man wow so what is i mean you think she's going to be coming up quick or is she gonna um i mean uh if i had to put a timetable i would say within the next year a couple years so she's that close year to two years holy shit yeah that's it's a, not that the pool isn't as deep to make it, right. you know. Yeah, not no all, women's. Yeah, but when you look at, uh, like, I think like we're talking about my my good friend Ivy Anthony Ivy. Yeah. Uh-huh. He got there with a little less fights than most people, but they're all his wins were finishes. Yeah. We we That's, bet on him last week. You know, all <laughs> San Antonio kids He's never gone to a decision and won. Same thing with Range. Yeah, she just finish, 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 finish. So and, I think, and dominant finishes. Yeah. Is he a good friend of yours? Yeah, I was there at the hospital when his daughter was born. Oh shit. I, I was there. Yeah. I hope he's good uh, people. I mean, that's one of the guy. fights that I was telling him. I probably fucking get my ass kicked for saying this, but I was like, to me, that looked like a fixed fight because the overhand right that hit him didn't. He seemed tougher than that. Yeah, the I mean, fights that I watched, he seemed like he's a grinder, like he's man, a tough he kid. Is, he is a grinder. I, I, so I wonder I, if it I was, stunned him. Or I was talking the other day about him. Like, uh, I'm not much of a. All my fights, if I, I win, I, I win. If I lose, I usually don't take too much damage. So the last time I was actually put, like, you know, unconscious by someone was by Anthony, maybe probably about two years ago, with a big 16-ounce glove. He just touched me, and he put me down. Wow. He's a very, very tough guy. So there might be other things, you know. It could be short the short notice thing. It could be the weight cut. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I said, maybe nine times out of ten, he beats him. Maybe not. Who knows, you know. But And also he was supposed to fight before that the week before yep. and that maybe could have thrown stuff off maybe i mean yeah stuff, you know? because those i mean the overhand right and i had him winning i thought he was gonna ground like wrestle well, the I, guy down i think it was just a matter of time before he would have shot yeah that's it, what i was he thinking always, he always shoots because he started off with two really solid kicks and i was yeah. like oh shit, this is good this is good and then yeah. one little overhand right and i was like man i mean that, if he's my friend of course i'm gonna say the rep stopped a little short but that's he was, what he was definitely uh definitely rocked him yeah, I, I mean, I think he'll get another shot. He seems like he's got some. Yeah, some and potential. there's a little cloud to not going contender series and jumping right on yeah. a prelim card, a televised fight. Jumping in there, those are the guys that, you, that I mean, at least from my what I've seen, they usually bring them back. A really? More, you know. Yeah. Is this where they fight the Apex? Not where they do the contender series, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is yeah, right. It yeah, is. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's. Man, we were rooting for him. We, you know, we're all about San Antonio or anything Texas. So we were all, all behind Ivy there, man. This is exactly how yeah. this fight we thought would go. He's just going to ragdoll him around the whole time. And this is kind of the wrestling aspect where we think of yep. like points. Like wrestlers just like to get position, hold your ass there, and that's fucking how they win the fight. You know, you eat up some clock. Yeah. You know, but this you're was- good. You're not getting. But, yeah, like, you know, back in the day, Tito Ortiz wouldn't do this. He'd be fucking grounding and pounding on your ass. But, yeah. You know, it's like. Well, a lot. Of, you see, like, yeah, <coughs> I, you see all this risk control, too. Like, the fighters are learning that stuff. A little more knowledgeable. Yeah. 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 There was a wide, wide gap back For a then, long time. Yeah. You know, yeah. And that, the grappling. That's something I was showing Cash is just, like, if, you know, because when we wrestle, I'm just, like, grab my wrist. Yeah. And they're, like, just a little kid grabbing your wrist. You can it's, 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 it's a some, lot, man. I think the way uh, some countries mandate military service, mm-hmm. all kids should do six months of jiu jitsu. Yeah. That'd be awesome. They're dude. safe, somewhat, I think. You know, for a good amount of time, and it teaches. You would think it, it creates bullies. It actually brings down bullies. Yeah, the, the number of bullies. Mm-hmm. I think. You know, once someone's choked you out, it's half your size, you're less likely to bully someone half your size. Yeah, I can see school, that. You know, totally humbling. You yeah, know. I mean, my daughter trains. I don't push it on her, but she does one class a week. And as long as she wants yeah. to do that, I'm happy. Great. I don't push her. She takes breaks to do other things. Yeah. But just enough to be competent if someone was to put their hands on you. Yeah. Right. It's great. 
Yep. Yeah, I, I really, man, I'm trying to get my son involved bad, yeah. but he's such a basketball guy. It's really hard to pull him over right yeah. now. But my, I, my daughter can't do jujitsu right now because she had, uh, she's got special needs. She had 16 surgeries already right. at, at 15 years old. But she's but, been boxing. I've seen she's her. Been, she's been boxing. Muay Thai, yeah, kickboxing, Muay Thai. and she's getting good. And she's she's getting confident. She's lost fifteen pounds. That's awesome. So all of a sudden, hey, maybe this is where you belonged anyway. How are you, you know? always losing weight when you've got fucking? She's baking cakes all the time. I always see you put, she don't eat them. Posting cakes all the time. This is this <laughs> is the crazy thing. She don't even like eating cake. She she just makes them and and then yeah, uh, Oh shit. Uh oh. Look oh, at this. Everybody Kimura. else eats them. Oh man, this would be a huge parlay killer. Big everything killer. Her blades got tapped here. But, like, dude, Volkov can't do nothing here. No, he's out of water. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this could be five rounds of this. Yeah, exactly. This is going to be five rounds of this. Yeah. But, I mean, maybe we could then get you a, lose ref, your... a ref stoppage, right? Yeah, I know. Once then you lose can... your bet because it I goes know, to but, decision. But what I'm saying, he's going to end yeah. up curling. Blaze will keep punching his face, and the ref will call it. All right. Yeah, so round one <laughs> was a dominant 10-9, uh, maybe 10-8, probably 10-9 for Blades. So we got rain coming up soon. Any other promising? I know Alex is going to be back in there soon, probably. And he's got a contract, I'm sure, right? Oh, Alex, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he'll, be so he'll be back in there. And sure. How about anyone else coming up from Ohana? I'm open to fight again. Hope you should yeah, be fighting August. again. Uh, Marcel. Yeah, Mickens. Marcel. We he's, got a couple uh, guys that have only fought in the amateur series, and I think they're coming up with a couple fights. Yeah, we got a guy Where are you on. looking to fight in, Jacob? Um, well, Bellator. Okay. One left with them. Wow. Um, so... I'm hoping August. Make sure like you'd that. let us know so we can come wherever it is. We'll come drive down there and support y'all guys. Yeah, more than likely, it'd be Thackerville. Or we'll fucking uh, yeah. sponsor your shorts like I did that one. There we Matt, go. Yeah, Matt there Music. Yeah. Nice. I like sponsors. Yeah, I sponsored his meal for the whole camp. I, you know, I, I will like... warn you, I do wear small shorts, so the letter has got to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wore the boxing style, so that was kind of cool. We had a big old spot on his fucking nice. leg, his yeah. thigh or something. Okay, nice. But yeah. yeah. But uh, we have a. Marcel Mickens, yeah. we were talking about him. He's a regional pro. That guy puts it on me. He's got some legs. What does he do? Like he's a, a striker, okay. but he's also yeah. a jiu-jitsu blue belt professional, yeah. undefeated professional. He just signed recently with Fury Fighting. Yeah, That's like the, the, the go-to uh, promotion in the area. And yeah, they fight the Cowboys a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's actually where Anthony came from, and they've been putting multiple guys into the UFC now, so they're, they're becoming a legit farm league. Yeah. Fury is what equivalent to Invicta, right? Um, uh, it's, there's, it's there's like no probably affiliation with the UFC. Victor has a loose affiliation. Yeah, right? it's, oh, okay. it's probably like what RFA was before they merged with LFA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, so. okay. It'd be like a one more step removed. Yeah, but they've recently been putting more guys into the UFC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Marcel just signed with them. Marcel's good. Yeah, long and lengthy, tall guy. Really? Yeah. Devin Cohen's. A if, if he gets a triangle too. on you, those legs ain't coming off your neck. Wow. They're just so long and they wrap up. Like so another takedown by Blades. Spaghetti noodles. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a lot of this. Yeah. 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 You couldn't do this to Francis, right? No, I mean, the second fight, he just got clipped right yeah. away and got knocked on like 30 seconds. Oh, I mean, how, how long before they set that up? Probably after this fight, winner's getting... Uh, so Stipe, there. Cormier, and then they say... The winner. winner Francis. Winner's probably going to retire. Yeah, that's true. And then he'll probably be, yeah, Francis versus Blades, I guess, for the title. So. Oh. But yeah, this is pretty dominant. And then you got really no one after that. Maybe Greg Hardy eventually. Yeah, Derek Lewis, Greg Hardy. Derek yeah. Lewis is always going to be at Derek Lewis. Like I don't see him ever getting better. I yeah. just don't. But is he going to be like a like a um, hang around for a while? You think he's going to vanish into the abyss? Oh, Derek Lewis. Yeah, I think he'll be like a gatekeeper kind of guy. Like, like a, a Mark Hunt. Because that's the thing of the heavyweights. I mean, how many fucking heavyweights are there? There's not yeah. tons of fucking heavyweights. You usually fight a little longer. Yeah, I, man, I just just been so weird lately because I don't find much excitement right now in the heavyweight division. I mean, heavyweights never been that great though. No, nah, no, it really hasn't. But those were, I mean, back in the day, those were the fun ones to watch because you always would get a KO. Always. Now yeah. it's evolved to where, and I enjoy watching a good grappling match. There's nothing like. Seeing two guys scramble around, fucking yeah, like a getting Frankie out of Edgar, Tyson Griffin type fight, or yeah. that even the one was setting up to be that way. Uh, the, the champion Devison versus Figueroa versus Benavides, Fig yeah, Figueroa versus Benavides. Mm -hmm. Like that could have been a great fight if he didn't get knocked out because there would have been so much scrambling, rolling around, shit like that. 
both those guys just scrambled. Benavidez has been chasing the belt for so long, right? Yeah, him. yeah, he's getting another shot. Didn't he get fight was, island? Didn't he fight for the first? He got the very first one, right? Yeah, he lost uh, the guy, Mighty Mouse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't he live here or? He's from San Antonio. Yeah, he's from, he's right? from yeah, San Antonio. Yeah. Yep. yep. He's married to uh, Olivia, right? Yeah, Megan Olivia, and then Olivia. he he's, he's trained out of alpha male ever since I okay. known. Yeah. Alpha male. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good like Fortis MMA in Dallas. They they put mm-hmm. a lot of UFC Jeff, fighters. Jeff Neal, yeah, right? yeah, Jeff, Jeff Neal's yeah. out there. Uh, who did I met him? He was cool. He was really cool. Someone just brought him out to their camp to train against Jeff Neal. Oh yeah, you just talked uh, Camacho, right? Or? Come on, no, was it Green? Green? No, who was it? Ah, I forget. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Jeff Neal. He's got some a lot of talent. Bro. I'm waiting for oh, Ohana and San Antonio to blow up. I mean, we're yeah, fucking seventh largest city. It's gonna happen. We got fighters ready. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're close to ready right now. It's it's it's. We got a big camp. When you do you see one of our MMA classes? It's loaded with people. It's, it's crazy. It's weird because and like they go after it. You know, we have the Bellator and um. I guess Alex Hernandez is the UFC guy, right? That we've seen, but right. then you go to little smaller places like Wisconsin where they have fucking yeah. I mean, all mo- kinds yeah. of fighters. I mean, I'm from Wisconsin, Kenosha and Milwaukee's had Rufus Sport. They've been a top gym yeah. for like mm-hmm. a decade. But I guess maybe it has something to do with the region too. It's a lot of wrestlers up there. Yeah, 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 yeah wrestling's yeah. huge, and that's I, I just In thought the Midwest. I was, I was just too small to wrestle in high school. Right, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to wrestle like at 85 <laughs> pounds back in the That's day. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't do any school sports. I did. Uh, I was. I grew up surfing. I was a all military surfing champion. I was a champion up and down the West Coast. And yeah, I mean, if you're if you're out in, in like California, or, yeah, yeah, even Hawaii, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of. That's what I did. Stuff. I, I yeah. surf, surf, surfed for a pretty high level back in the day. But man, come on, Blake. Now, now I'm old. Gotta just yeah. This is posture and puncher. Yeah, yeah. So this is two rounds of the bank. Right. Same I need stuff, this TKO. Yeah. yeah. Or it's gonna be a real bad night. Yeah, I mean that. That's just like how Amanda Nunez. You thought she was gonna knock out Spencer, and then she lasted the whole fight. At this rate, yeah. our new uh, bit might have to stop. We've lost two five hundred dollar <laughs> flip this cash bits in a week. <laughs> well, we we been... go again. Yeah, I know. That's gonna be the fight. Usually we're a lot better than this too. That's what's fucking bad. This last two weeks have been brutal. Yeah, it's just, but it's, it's the MMA. You can't. Yeah, you can't. You don't know for sure. As a fan, that's why we love it because we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Let's that's just right. hope that's that right. uh, the wrong person doesn't hear me sometimes because I probably say more than I should. <laughs> I, I was like, I got money on the line and I don't know shit about it, but yeah, I talk okay. a lot of shit to fucking fighters that could drop me on like a bad habit. Yeah, but you're just having fun with it. Yeah, I know. I'm anyway. not personal. Nothing personal. Anyone with a sense of humor would know where you're at. Um, anything else about Ohana, y'all want to guys? It looks like this fight's going to be pretty, Man, what's, what's pretty new? much the same. What's new? Uh, really, our, our new location is going to change a lot of stuff. Uh, I think that it's 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 so big and is it big? Because I've never been what, in that. What happened is we brought two schools together, and we brought our Stone Oak location, our San Antonio location. Well. Both gyms were almost different styles. I, I don't know if I can say different styles or different atmospheres. atmospheres. And now you're bringing those two atmospheres together and you're going to com- combine them. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's just going to grow into just the, the beast mode. It's going to be crazy because, uh, you know, being Alamo being our, our first location, it was mm-hmm. kind of the that was our alley, our back alley. You know, and that's where things got dirty. I, I got to say, and, uh, and, and now it's it's together. The and video it's, y'all it's put awesome. out, the video y'all put out yesterday had a ton of people there like yeah yeah y'all are fucking yeah, back in the at, house uh, so we're at a limited capacity still right, right and, and that's limited capacity we can't even bring everyone in yet damn yeah. what is it y'all like 50 percent or something 50 right now right yeah 50, 50 yep how hard is it to do all the sanitizing and things because don't we got a pretty good rhythm now don't mma gym notoriously aren't they a little dirty for like the sty or what Maybe, is it, yeah. staff infection we, and stuff like Ohan has always been a, a clean facility yeah uh-huh. you know? we always clean clean facility kind of uh you know high standards to begin with you know you got a stinky gee sorry man you gotta go yeah you gotta go when we yeah. left out ray's gym dude the fucking mat was literally like two inches thick of fucking sweat i mean it takes yeah. time to clean it yeah, was we clean them after gotta... every every class uh like for instance i work the floor or the door sometimes and i'm doing the sanitizing 
And if someone comes in with nails, I make them cut them. You got to cut your nails, dude, because that's that's a problem. Going to cut someone. You yeah. got to cut your nails. Yeah. And I'll put post out all the time. You know, and it's 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 a thing that you have to do. It's respect, right? You gotta, yeah. You got to have your. your your, your uniform isn't just your uniform. Your body is your uniform. Especially nowadays, right? Yeah. I mean, fuck. Yeah. So we do temperature checks on yeah. it. Yeah. Temperature checks. We do Sanitize all. hands, feet. Yeah. Any, you know, we we were bag. doing that, too, for the bar. I mean, yeah. we had to. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have people bring a separate set of shoes just right. for the two. Two different pairs of shoes, yeah. You know, change and, uh, your shoes at the door. No shoes on the mat. Uh-uh, ever, always. Never. Always. Even yeah. from before, yeah. That's yeah. even at every yeah. dojo or... <laughs> But the temperature checks, you know, that's a big thing. That's too. the key. Right? That is the key. Because yeah, that's yeah. that's the main. Yeah. If you don't have problem. a temperature, you're probably not gonna yeah. have it. So, man, this so, has been a fucking. I can't even imagine how a business like Ohana that relies on the gym strictly and well, close you, physical uh, contact to right. what this does to yeah. not only the business but your training. Like, well, here's God, here's damn, what yeah. we did, which was phenomenal. Is you know, you you, you 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 Professor Jason was talking about a setback is a setup for a comeback. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we created the Zoom classes every day. Kids class. Oh, I saw that. Adult class. And people stuck with it. That's awesome. People were getting mats. They were getting in the garage. They were putting things together where they could. They were getting dummies that they could. And they were making them out of bears, the big stuff, bears and stuff like that. So everybody kept coming to class, but it was online. Connection's and, a key, you know. Connection, yeah. Coming to learn jujitsu is awesome, and being able to defend yourself is awesome. But what keeps people coming back, I think, are the connections you make. You got friends. Yeah. Nowadays, people go to work, and those are the people you associate with when mm-hmm. you go home. You know, you're limited on the friends you meet. Right. You go to jujitsu, you meet a cop, a doctor, a, right. a this, a that, a physical therapist, a, all kinds of all walks of life. You know, and y'all might hang out after. So the connections. So when we couldn't see each other anymore, it was real important that we stayed connected, you know, with the Zoom classes, messaging right. each other, const- trying to stay in constant contact without bugging, you know, the, the students or whatnot. Because you, is that something y'all would ever look into maybe doing at, in addition to? So even now we have classes running. We still have still Zoom, have Zoom, Zoom classes. Going, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I think that's something yeah. you could do full time. Oh, I some- think. Some even people just weren't ready yeah. to come back yet. Yeah. And, and some people so, still okay, are. We'll take care of you. Even so, some people that are out and can't physically yeah, right. come to the gym. I mean, that's, right. a, that's a good idea. So we're still running Zoom classes right now. We still have social distancing options available at the gym also. So, yep. you know, um, very candidly, the, the manager asked student by student, do you feel comfortable changing partners or do you have right. dedicated partners? When right. the gym first opened up, you could only train with a dedicated partner. Mm-hmm. Either you find your partner, right. you all come in together, get sanitized together. Or you come and get sanitized and you wait until you get partnered up with someone and that's your partner. The whole class. For, for the whole class. Right. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah. 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 So, We've seen that at the Red Gym. Yeah. They partner up. So and, we still yeah. have that now. So some yeah, people are, now, yeah. are coming in as a couple maybe and they're just training themselves in, in their own 10 foot area. Oh, okay. We have squares on the mat. Yeah. And, yeah. And then, you know, and then you get to go home after. Man. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. So it's, yeah. so it's definitely possible to fucking. Find, yes. Find oh, a yeah. Way. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It doesn't have to stop. It just has to be adjusted. Yeah. So just like, you know, like I said, with injuries, you don't want to stop. You can just adjust and you learn something new because of it. Man, Blades is getting a little tired. He's letting them up. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, man. Yeah, you never Third, know. That's three rounds in the book. So. Could, could yeah, I know. It's one of the things, too. Blades knocks out his last guy, so he's like, ah, I could fucking knock out anyone now. I'm not going to use my wrestling. I mean, he's, he's wrestled the whole fight. I know. He's, I know he has, yeah. like, 11 takedowns. It's just Volkov's defending well on the ground. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be but hard, too, doesn't it, to chain wrestle someone to death? I mean, that's yeah. got to be very... Especially with the training now. I mean, everybody's training for the defense from the wrestling. You know, it's it's, it's, it's not like you're coming in with two different arts anymore. They all train the same art mm-hmm. basically, which is mixed martial arts. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 you hate to say that that's a style, but it's becoming one. I would say. If someone's shooting at you, what's the first thing you do? Grab their neck. No, 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 no guillotine. Hips down. <laughs> hips, hips, hips down. Yeah. Hips to the floor. Okay. It's called yeah. a sprawl. To get your hips to the floor and hips the floor. getting what guard, I guess. Is that? No hips. First thing first, hips to the floor. You got to figure if you were to measure, from the guy's head to where he's trying to reach when you go mm-hmm. hips to the floor the, the distance oh is okay now he's reaching for you oh i see when you're standing yeah, yeah, straight yeah. Up, it's easy to connect hands yeah connect so you're legs. kind of going like that correct you're making a longer distance for him to connect his hand that's one it's like stuffing a takedown almost Correct. Like, yeah. okay stuff it and then wow. what he does you know 
know, you might go for a choke after, you might take right. it back. Or, Depends on the level. So you got to be really go. fucking confident just to be like, okay, er, I'm going down. Yeah, that's, that's more of a reaction. Sometimes you're there, oh, I did that. I don't remember doing that. You know? <laughs> yeah. And there is a technique to it, but it's a reaction. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the better you are at the technique, probably the better you are at the reaction. Yeah. Who, was a, who had a good guillotine? Uh, Faber used to have a good guillotine, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, big time. Someone has a sick guillotine right now. Who was he just fought like two weeks ago? Or... Yeah, I mean, well, Jim Miller's good with Jim that Jim Miller's too. got a sick yeah. guillotine. Yeah, there's someone, man, who was it that like specializes in that shit? Uh, you don't want to shoot sloppy on him or he's going to get your guillotine. Like, oh, uh, Kelleher. Kelleher. Oh, Brian Kelleher. Yeah, 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 yeah Boom yeah. Kelleher. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I think Blades <laughs> might be tired a little bit. It looks like Volkov's grabbing the cage. Maybe not, but. Volkov just doesn't impress me as a heavyweight. I know he's a good striker, but he's just kind of slow. Look at that. Yeah, the winds, there wasn't much explosion in the winds. No. And even his punches, yeah, he throws some good straights, yeah. like real straight and crisp, but they don't seem like they have a lot of pop on it for a heavyweight. More of like a point, like an outstrike you kind of guy, like maybe. Oh, she didn't get it. Uh, yeah. Four minutes left in the round, and it's just... Yeah. He's gonna dive. This is where Blades can get fucking easy. Yeah, there yeah. yeah. he goes again. Yep. He sets up, sets him up with those feints. But now, yeah, now he's just. So Volkov needs to bring a knee up the middle, right to his face. Like there, yeah, it just seemed like he didn't explode enough. He's kind of. Because there, like the sprawl, like you said, it seemed like he didn't even sprawl there. Mm-hmm. He just kind of shoved him against the cage, and it's just yeah. like. Man, some tired guys here. Ooh, yeah, yeah, are. yeah. He's getting. Oh yeah, man, he keeps. He keeps like, here you go, another one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're just not you gonna can't stop it. Yeah, three minutes left. That, that just doesn't look fun. That looks like I. I mean, that's when people just give up when you can't get back up. Like, well, yeah, that's why, why people try? people hate fighting Khabib. Khabib just chains those takedowns and it's just like you're just getting smothered down there. Khabib and GSP were like, I mean, just dominant. Even GSP, though, dude, he'd fucking make you suffer. Like, look at Blades. He's just laying there for position. Yeah. He's not making you suffer. GSP would throw yeah. elbows, throw yeah, knees. I, I think he'll come over the top with the couple, but, yeah, he's pretty gassed out. Like, he knows he has the fight won. Yeah. He can coast, gets a decision. It doesn't matter. Speaking of GSP, oh, uh, who has had a fall from G- uh, Hendricks? Johnny Hendricks? Uh-huh. Mm. That guy's had a fall from Grace, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, he, he hasn't right. fought in forever. Yeah. He fought uh, Bare Knuckle was recently. Oh, he did? He fought an ex-adult uh, entertainer star. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. His name? Yeah, you look it up. I saw Vanderlei Silva was considering fighting Bare Knuckle. Yeah. Just Tyson? Like, uh, yeah, like that Mike was Tyson. that was off. Mike, Mike Tyson would kill him. Yeah. I, Tyson looks deadly still. Oh, yeah, dude. Was, yeah, yeah. At, at least quick. Yeah, he was very quick yeah. in that yeah, Instagram I've listened, video. I've listened to his podcast when he's not too uh, under the influence. The, he's He still has it there. He's not too punchy. And yeah. When I was watching Holyfield move, I was like, oh, man, please don't. Yeah, move. yeah, no, please. Holyfield looks pretty bad. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. I didn't see that one. Yeah, he he's up there in age. His son fights or boxes mm-hmm. Holyfield. Well, when son. you add, add up Is the he damage, good? Not really. I mean, Tyson won, 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 won. Started to lose at the end, but didn't have take too much damage in his early years maybe you know yeah and he knew he was kind of done too when he retired yeah yeah i would hate to be a son of someone like that good like you're never going to live up to their fucking expectations Uh, (laughs) you're never going to fill their shoes there anderson silva's son's been fighting i've saw a couple of kickboxing fights really i haven't seen that kind of fights like him does he a little somewhat man he used to be god dang yeah he was a different level at that point he was like the matrix yeah (laughs) Yeah, he was so quick he was just such a great counter. It's a classic hands down guy too. <laughs> Count. I'm gonna leave my hands down and just fucking dodge everything. Yeah, you're right. I don't think Blaze threw this one is, punch. Look no. what I'm saying. They're like, standing him up though, but yeah, Blaze is kind of gas. Like I, I respect and I love wrestling, but this is kind of what the point shit comes see, from. You don't see many stand ups these days anymore. Yeah. Well, and what sucks is like with your bet, you think Blaze would get a finish, and you're gonna lose. Yeah, you'd lose because. Yeah. He dominates the fight, but he can't get the finish. He might even get knocked out here. I mean, that would be I mean, really bad for him. But... He's getting fucking tagged with straights yeah, and backing up. 20 seconds. Look, and now oh. he gets taken down. This is oh. not good. I mean, he got the fight one. Well, he, I mean, but... even like he trains at uh, Colorado with Gaethje and those boys in that elevation. That's a he fucking, should have the gas. That's, a camp. that's an accomplishment right there, dude. Look at that. Taking, yeah, taking blades down. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a bad look. Fucking he's tired. Him. Yeah, bad look for Curtis. Oh, he's, he's gonna tired. call this shit. Oh shit! Around. Saved by the bell. Brown. Oh. Dude, he was saved by the bell, dog. <laughs> he was barely touching him too. Yeah. Man, yeah, those were yeah. Pay your That's what, pads. His yeah. look. His, his so, punches look so weak. His mouth is all torn up. All right, one round left. One let's, round left. Let's see. Look at his lip. Yeah, he's tired. Usually, usually, uh. It'd be more exciting in here, but we lost that first bet, so now we're fucking all pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> Usually we're hooping and hollering and screaming, but hey. Ben Askren's loving the fight. At least you got Ohana Academy in here. That's good. Dude, that's what we wanted. We wanted to build a relationship with y'all guys. Not only one to to promote y'all, but you know, to to help our podcast out getting interviews and you know, any yeah. anything we can get from y'all to help out, sponsor. You know, be involved with the community and yeah, especially yeah, for sure. something that we love to watch. I love MMA more than probably anything. I mean, I'm sure Jacob will glad to have your uh, label on his shorts next time. There's yeah. something about yeah, what? Sure. Yeah, there's something about watching UFC athletes as opposed to like basketball or football or these millionaires that are fucking crying like babies. You know, there's you a there's a grind. Everybody that's in there, there there was a grind to get there. Yeah, that's what it. Right. Like, yeah. Every, yeah. Every single. They one didn't win any a whole bunch of stuff to get there. They well, had they, got, to, they had to take yeah. a lot of losses first. Yeah. Right. The losses add up to get you there. Yeah. That's what it seemed like, man. Is that they deserve every freaking penny they get and yeah. more than what they get actually. Yeah. Yeah. We no, we really appreciate y'all coming out. This yeah. was fun and different, and give some different insight on uh, a fighters from uh, you know a fighters perspective. Oh yeah, for sure. Right, Let's see. This is going to be a fucking left. huge I mean, yeah, upset. Yeah, he he ate a few he shots gagged. there. He gassed, ate, right? yeah. yeah. What is that? <laughs> what was That's that? I'm tired and I got to do something. <laughs> Volkov will get destroyed, I, I believe. By oh, oh, holy cow. Head kick. Yeah, that was yeah. like a, a knee kick. Yeah. Dude, he, he just kind of lifted his leg up. It's like, oh, he he keeps doing this yeah. faint, this level change. Yeah. Like, that's what I was saying, bring the knee up the middle. Right. Get caught, yeah. Just flash it a couple times, he'll stop it. Yeah. Because he's not even like, ex- yeah, he's not, yeah, he has no explosiveness. He just doesn't have the power. Yeah. Oh, that's the time. Under hooks. Just to waste time. Got the good striking, but. Yeah, four minutes left. This this is why I don't think Blazer ever be a champion, dude. I don't know. He, he The way he finished Dos Santos was very impressive, but here he's kind of. Santos was a little bit on his way out, though, I'm going to say. Yeah, Dos Santos is fine. Rosenstruck in August. Rosenstruck's yeah. another one of those guys they promote heavy, the kickboxer. Wow. They what got about a Glover. What did nothing for Glover? Glover Teixeira? Nope. Uh, yeah, not yet. And he just won his yet. last fight. Yeah, he beat the hell out of Anthony and, Smith. And beat, beat him up bad. Yeah. yeah, beat him up bad. That was a good fight, dude. Glover's about 58 years old. Oh, that's insane, yeah, dude. Yeah, he's fought everywhere. And Smith was piecing him up that first round, and then he just comes out and fucking rocks him. Yeah, he, he gassed out, too. And Smith was spitting teeth out. That was nasty. And Smith was mad that people were saying that fight trade got stopped. He was mad at, you know. He told the refs, like, no, right? Or yeah. Something, yeah. But, and I would rather protect the fighters than not. Yeah, because you can get you can get a six-month suspension, a year suspension. You're not right. fighting anytime soon. Yeah. You know? Like, even uh, the Bellator kid, like Pico, how he got promoted mm-hmm. so well. He got thrown to the wolves a couple of times, and he was getting yeah. knocked out bad. Bad. You know? like, I, so, like. You say you, you're hoping to fight in August. When do you find that stuff out? Um, I mean, my first fight with Bellator, I had probably uh, about five weeks notice. And then my second fight, I had a full camp. I had a good seven, seven, eight weeks. Okay. Is that a, but, usually a typical camp? I mean, if you can get a two-month uh, camp, that's pretty good. Big, you know, okay. But, you know, I've, I've taken a fight as short as, you know, back when I was fighting regionally, I took a fight like a two-day notice before so it, it just depends. But normally, I mean, you, you would hope to get four to eight weeks out of it. Is Bellator like UFC where you sign a deal with them, or is it kind of like a... Same thing. They do multi-fight deals and okay. whatnot, you know. So I have another fight left with them. Um, you can get one-fight deals, three-fight deals. I don't know. And is that based on... I mean, if you go out there and put on a show, you think you'll get another offer? Pretty much. I mean, the, the last two guys that I fought were, were pretty high-level uh, black belts. They're pretty big followings and whatnot mm-hmm. so i think i need i definitely need to do a have a finish on this next fight do you um i noticed that you have boxing you know in your uh, game is that something you're constantly working on all the time or um uh, the last year or so i've been trying to to adapt to this this alex hernandez state of mind of try to do something all day you know okay so work on something 
So um, before it was like MMA practice, jujitsu practice. Okay, I'm done. But now it's like, hey, I got some hours. Let's put some time on the bag. Let's do this. Let's do keep that. working. Yeah. Yeah. Just try to be, you know, I'm a little older. You know, I'm, I think, uh, how old am I now? 34. <laughs> 34. I'm 34 now. <laughs> the dude I just fought for Bellator uh, a couple months back was 19. Holy shit. You remember uh, uh, Chris Brennan back in the day? The, yeah. The West Side Strangler? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I fought his son, Lucas Brennan. Oh, wow. And I used to watch his dad fight. Wow. 19 year old black belt. Dude, that's very, crazy. Very good guy. Dude. Really? But I mean, I love boxing. Uh, if uh, Davies cards come back and it doesn't conflict with my Bellator contract, I definitely like to box again, too. Is that, I mean, you, so you have passion not, for boxing? Not more, not more to like, uh, I want, I'm going to be the best boxer in the world, but I, I want to put credentials on the wall for when I'm at somebody's head coach. Oh, okay. Jiu Jitsu Black Belt, fought PBC boxing, fought top ranked boxing, right. fought for Bellator, you know, been around jiu-jitsu tournaments i, I just want to show my students your re- like, build your resume yeah for do sure. it you know you're a jiu-jitsu guy that got offered a boxing fight let's do it you know yeah i mean um, you're you obviously though like you know you, you got one more fight in bellator you want to go out and win and yeah you I, want, I want that to. deal right like you I want, want another deal i want to be uh obviously you know i mean i've i have a family i'm trying to provide for and mm-hmm. I, I want to give them what i didn't have so yeah i want to and somewhat at the end of it, there's some validation to it. So you, you put nine, 10 years into something. It's nice to get something out of it. Right. You know? Yeah. If I never fought on TV and I just was a regional guy, I'd be happy with my life. But a little bit of validation, uh, uh, you know, uh, being able to buy your family something, take them on mm-hmm. vacation, buy your girl a, a new purse or something, you know, it's it, like all that hard work kind of like leads to something. You know? I mean, so, yeah. And like my eyes, like Bellator is fucking like right here with UFC and and yeah. I know that maybe uh what do you think I mean I know like, there's a lot of Bellator guys I think could beat a lot yeah of yeah that's what I'm trying to say it's like I know that they get a bad rap sometimes for bringing in the older like ex fighters especially yeah. the heavyweights yeah they, the Frank Mir Roy Nelson, they brought that whole Sarah, thing yeah. down but uh the younger guys are have tons yeah like of, your division AJ McKee I yeah think yeah he's yeah, one I mean, of the top featherweights in the world I mean with the guys that I fought let's say I, I I pulled off two finishes I'm I think uh from what the matchmakers are telling me there was a spot in that in that Grand Prix for me wow so I mean knocking on the door of it but uh the fall is is great too and yeah you, you lose two or three boom yeah do, then, do you have a say in who you might be matched up with no, or no, none no no, no yeah. ever not really man you know the the, the unless the you're grass. like conor mcgregor yeah <laughs> you know those guys maybe have some say yeah because i, I was bet you say, could yeah. fucking tap conor out i don't know man if if we were just no one was watching and i was comfortable i'll give him a run for his i, I mean just just grappling just grappling yeah we make fun of his ass all the time because we think he's yeah, he's got hands but i think any jiu-jitsu in, guy would in a gi, I'll, I'll crush his ass i'll get a college joke or something that's like that. fucking crazy <laughs> But yeah, I'm hoping for a big win this next one coming out. So that's awesome, we'll man. Goes. I gotta knock this quarantine weight off a little bit. Yeah, shit. <laughs> man. Tell me about it. Surgery weight. Yeah. Surgery <laughs> weight. Shit, you're always fucking skinny, man. Fuck. You drive me nuts. Yeah. yeah, so Blades got the decision. The bet loses, but yeah. Blades wins. What's the chance <laughs> so of that? We typical. go fucking oh yeah, and got, fucking <laughs> five tonight. Oh, oh he hey. set a record for takedowns, apparently. Yeah, we're a we're, UFC record for takedowns. We're real good at what we do. We're glad you came in on tonight. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, right, right. We got to witness it. <laughs> nah, we'll we'll have some better days. I promise you that. Oh, yeah, for nice. sure. No, I'm glad I, I I got to come out tonight. It was a good opportunity. I kind of felt guilty leaving the wife with her birthday tomorrow, but she's she's all for it because she's part of this Ohana family. And what do you do you about know? that? It's Father's Day tomorrow. Is y'all fucking split the day or something? Father's <laughs> Day don't count, dude. No, I didn't do nothing for my birthday. I don't do nothing for Father's Day. I'm just so glad to. Have I'm my, like that too, dude. I'm, I don't. Yeah, care. I'm just so blessed to have my family and my and wife pizza. and yeah, have my health, even though it's bolted together, but it's still healthy. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm as fit and healthy as any of the 20 year olds on the on you're the fucking pieced together and you're you could fucking run laps around me i'm sure uh, tell you what. we were playing basketball every week until uh this quarantine shit yeah. and this fucking yeah. all anything i did you know actively went down the drain like we've been sitting on our ass doing nothing yeah it's been bad uh, we'll have to yeah. get back at it but um guys we wanted to wrap this up yeah, thank our it. sponsors nice. real quick uh natural heights they're a cbd company off of uh 1880 nacogdoches road if you suffer from stress, anxiety, joint pain, PTSD, insomnia, go see those guys. They're real good. You've been listening to Talking Hands. We're sorry we uh, couldn't flip that cash for you and 
get some better bets on the table, but it happens to the best of us, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, a tough night, but Curtis Blades won. He didn't look that great, though. <laughs> no. He didn't look that great. We so. want to thank Jacob and uh, Jamie for coming out, both from Ohana uh, Academy, Ohana Nation, uh, Strong San Antonio Jiu-Jitsu School here. They just mm -hmm. merged two of their schools together for a big headquarters off 281 and Brook Hollow. Correct. It's the old UFC gym uh, right there by the HEB, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, if y'all guys want lessons or, you know, learn the craft, that these guys mastered, go visit them off 281 in Brook Hollow. And nice. uh, come on by, guys. Yeah, y'all guys get Jason over here. And, you know, I got some t shirts for y'all. And nice, uh, yeah, we appreciate yeah, you. Sure. It, was, and, it was a good time. And, and Jacob, keep us posted on your next Bellator fight. Definitely. We, we want to definitely sponsor you on that. And right. uh, we're going to come support you too. So it's only a five hour drive, I think. Fuck, to, that's uh, nothing. Right? That's nothing. We've, Driven 13 hours just to go bet five thousand we, dollars and lose. We've and driven, lose. we've driven to Las Vegas from here. Wow, yeah, we've driven back all 12 night, hours, depressed as shit. Yeah, yeah fucking all night. sad and depressed. We'll drive home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can tell we're not that good at this. I guess shit. <laughs> maybe the more I keep talking, maybe we should just stop. More losers. <laughs> maybe there's some better stories. Yeah, we'll get the uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The we stories, stories are good. Yeah. The stories are good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah some of them we can stay on air but <laughs> some of them we can but no we really appreciate it and we're gonna do our part to get people over nice. at y'all's academy nice. and uh appreciate it. thank you all for coming out watching the fights with us and we yeah, look forward man. to next next week we have fights uh yeah hooker poirier good fight. yeah hooker That's poirier fight. Yeah. Good fight. we got Great fights one. for the next i think several months i mean they're lined up right. back to back so if you, got, yeah. if you got room for me i'll bring somebody cool we always got room for you jamie i appreciate oh, I you coming be here up. i'm gonna be at potter island with you Oh, perfect. That's right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be doing my thing from my laptop. So all right, all right. There you go. we can go remote. Now. That's, well, there all you right. go. Yeah. But thank you all very much. I appreciate it. And uh go reach out to Ohana, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh we'll see you guys next week. Uh have oh, a good one. Last one, real quick. Mybookie.ag put in uh promo code pup sports. Yep. Perfect. All, all right. right.